um, that we Yahweh's allowed us to make it to another Sabbath. You know, Praise and um, and that's and that's the uh, the blessing today. Again, uh, not again, but we are the keepers, the keepers of the house of light. And my name is Yehuda Ben Israel. And to my left, Obadiah Ben Israel, Uriah Ben Israel, Mikael Ben Israel. Praise Yah, my brothers. And, you know, who are we? Uh, we are the keepers of the house of light. And we are dedicated, we're brothers just dedicated uh, to spreading the righteousness love, mercy, and forgiveness of our Father, Yahweh Elohim of hosts, by and through his Son, Yahshua, the Messiah, the Lamb of Yahweh, the King of Israel, who is our Redeemer and our Savior. And bottom line, we're just here to teach and proclaim the gospel of Yahshua, who magnifies the law of Yahweh and makes it righteous because only he could magnify it and make it righteous mm -hmm. that's what that's why that's why he was sent to, 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 to bring these things uh so that we'll be able to be here today um you know to to talk about these things to talk about Yahweh's <coughs> greatness and, and his son uh his greatness but um the day sabbath service or class is entitled The Wages of Sin. Again, the title of today's class is The Wages of Sin. Mm -hmm. Now, at this time, we just ask everyone, go get your Bible, uh, get a piece of paper, uh, note, a uh, piece of paper, a pen, to take some notes. But, but more importantly, to follow us as we're reading uh, from these holy words that have been given to us. But now, before we begin our class entitled Wages of Sin, we're going to ask um, Elder Brother uh, Uriah if he would read the Shema before we start the class. And the Shema is found in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 6, verses 4 and 5. And that is called the Shema. Deuteronomy, chapter 6, verse 4. Hear, O Israel, Yahweh our Elohim is one other name, and thou shalt love Yahweh thy Elohim with all thine heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy might. Praise you. Praise you. Yeah, and uh, the Mishiach, Yeshua, added a little more to that Shema, which I'm going to pick it up in uh, chapter 18. Yes. And I think that speaks to what we're about, mm -hmm. what we're doing today. Mm -hmm. Obviously, we're online. We're, we're doing this virtual. Mm -hmm. But I think when the brother uh, reads that, uh, Matthew 18, verse 20, mm -hmm. it'll give a little uh, mm -hmm. a little bit more clarity and light on what we're trying to accomplish. Uh, I, think that's, I think that's fair to say, right, Brother Mitch? Yes, yeah, praise God. Yeah. Matthew chapter 18, verse 20. <laughs> For where two or three are gathered together in my name, there am I in the midst of them. And that's the who spoke that? Mm, the Mashiach himself. The Mashiach spoke that. Mm -hmm. So sometimes we have to become uh, a little flexible, mm -hmm. you know, understanding, particularly in these times, how this word is being spread. Mm -hmm. You know, we're, we're, we're here today. We're here today. We're gathered for one purpose because we know who our Savior is, our Redeemer is, mm -hmm. our King is, Yahshua. So we're here gathered. It's four of us, but that, that's still applicable. We're, we're gathered in his name. So well, we, we thank Yahweh that the Mashiach is not a liar, mm. that he's not like man. Mm. So we know he's in the midst of this, yeah. right? We yes, know right. he's in the midst of it. But since the day, and, and being that the day is the Sabbath, mm. we're supposed to have a different spirit about us, right, brothers? Yeah, yeah, of course. We're supposed to be a, Absolutely. a peaceful spirit. Of, of so, yeah, rest. It's the, it's the rest, right? It's the Sabbath. Yahweh's Sabbath for the rest. And and we have to understand that Yahweh, um, you know, Yahshua said, uh, man man wasn't made for the Sabbath. Sabbath was made for the man. Mm -hmm. The man. So mm -hmm. let's let's see what y Yahweh talks about. Let's let's read. Let's go to Isaiah 58, I believe, brother. Uh, 58. 58. And, um, and uh, I think it's 13 and 14. But it, it, 
it adds some light. But we know Yahshua is the master of the Sabbath. Mm -hmm. so the Father laid down these laws and gave us the Sabbath. Let's see what, how Yahweh wants us to um, um, uh, exist on the Sabbath or to move on the Sabbath. Mm -hmm. If you don't mind, Brother Elder, would you, you read that again? Absolutely. You read that? Absolutely. Uh, absolutely. Isaiah chapter 58, verse 13. If thou turn away thy foot from this Sabbath, from doing thy pleasure on my holy day, and call the Sabbath a delight, the holy of Yahweh honorable, and shall honor him, not knowing thine own, not doing. not doing, I'm sorry about that, not doing thine own ways, nor finding thine own pleasure nor speaking thine own words. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Verse 14. Then shalt thou delight thyself in Yahweh, and I will cause thee to ride upon the high places of the earth, and feed thee with heritage of Jacob, thy father, for the mouth of Yahweh has spoken it. Praise Yah. Mm. Praise Yah. We're supposed to, what does it say? We both have a mind and a spirit, a heart about ourselves. When we come into this Sabbath, mm -hmm. Friday evening, right to to sundown today. Mm -hmm. That's right. We're supposed to come here with a different a different attitude, mm -hmm. a different spirit. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm just gonna say it, brothers. Y'all can jump in. I'm just gonna spirit got me thinking about this. Why would you come? In? What justifies you coming into Yahweh's Sabbath mad? Hmm. Man. Mm -hmm. Unless it do well, it all depends on what type of spirit rests with you. Exactly. Right? Absolutely. Because you're not doing what Yahweh wants you to do. That's you're doing your own way. You're supposed to put that to the side. That's what you should do. Well, you should have no, you're supposed to have already reconciled. With your brother. Right. Don't let the sun set on your wrath. So you're supposed to already take care of that business. So mm. now you don't get a place to Satan. And now you're bitter. Now you're bitter. Mm. And you can and brothers and sisters can see that on you when you enter into the sanctuary. When wherever you're worshiping at, you can see it. Mm. So something ain't gonna be right. That's right. Now, brother Nick, you were looking at me now. He, he has that look. He smiles. I knew he had some. I mean, He's ready to open that gate. I want you to say, I don't. I, 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 but you know, we, we want to be fluid here. But before we get in the clap, but I do want you smiling. I think you have something oh, no, in mind. Just, I'm just honored to be among you, brothers, man. I'm just I'm great to join the Shabbat. I mean, you 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 said something that stood out. You said, "Why would you come into the Shabbat with a different spirit that we read here?" And and, and the thing that stood on. The only, let's just say it, the, the only person that would have a spirit like that if that person's goal is to sow discord mm. on Yahweh's holy day. Right, mm. right, right. Let's, let's, let's just cut it dry. That's the only way, man, because the Shabbat, I mean, that's the only, I mean, you're commanded to rest. You're commanded to rest. Correct. Yeah. Just rest, like, like, just the rest out, but, you know, but yeah. you, it, I, like, one thing, man, my Shabbat's, my Shabbat's have been different lately. Okay. Ooh. Yeah. Very peaceful. I mean, it's not, you know, before it's like, okay, let's try to get peaceful right when that sun go down. But now it, it it's 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 becoming a lifestyle. You're, mm -hmm. you're, you're, you're coming into the Shabbat peacefully. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Not waiting, okay. Let me let me let me, let me let, don't don't let the sun set on your anger. Mm -hmm. You know, somebody will piss me off, you know, right. like that, you know. But now it's just been it's just been different, but you know. Praise Yahweh. Praise Yahweh. I, I, I thank I thank Yahweh for that because when you when when Yahweh says in verse thirteen he says uh, let my Sabbath be a delight uh, you know you know uh, don't do your pleasure mm. on my holy day mm. right well you know I got to take care of this now it's one thing that you got that proverbial ox in the ditch right. and something don't happen you got a flat tire your car broke down mm -hmm. you just don't walk off you know you're gonna you're gonna change that tire but you got to get home. That's mm -hmm. what Shek was telling the Pharisees. Mm -hmm. Which one of you got an ox and get a ditch? You won't go out there and get it on Sabbath. Right. Now that's different. Mm -hmm. But when when you know the truth, and we're talking about those of us who know about Yahweh's Sabbath, mm -hmm. you know, and that that are Israel, mm -hmm. you know. So we so we're not talking about everybody because everybody has not been given this this truth mm -hmm. at this point in time, mm -hmm. right? But mm -hmm. those of us who know, we understand what's my prayer. Well, you can't you wait to sundown to. Um, you know, I'm guilty of it now because no man is uh, saying I, I haven't done kept the Sabbath perfect. Uh -huh. No man has. No, sir. But when you know better, you do better mm. and you continue to try. That's right. So that way, because if you if you did it perfectly, then you'll be holding yourself mm. like you're some righteous one. Holy and holy and down. Pharisee. Right. Pharisee mindset. So mm -hmm. I do the 
the TV goes off at uh, sundown Friday, and I don't even use the bathroom. People go crazy. I don't do nothing. I just, you know, come on. It, it, that's beyond right. uh, what we're about. <laughs> Mm. But there is a blessing mm. in keeping the Sabbath, you know. Uh, but oh, look at verse 14. Read, read that again. That's, okay. a, that, that's a blessing in keeping the Sabbath. Verse 14. Sorry, but, uh, verse 14. Um, that's right. here in the book of Isaiah chapter 58, verse 14. Then shalt thou delight thyself in Yahweh, and I will call thee to ride upon the high places of the earth, and feed mm -hmm. thee with the heritage of blessing. Jacob, yeah, mm -hmm. thy father, for the mouth of Yahweh has spoken. See, that's a blessing. Mm -hmm. see, but that's a, everything you just read, it goes to sp spiritual. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's, yeah, that's the heritage where we got the, that was given to our father, mm -hmm. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, whose name was changed to Israel. So this is something that is ours because the Sabbath was given to us mm -hmm. to, to, to keep. That's right. You know, that would be a sign to the nations that we are Israel, mm -hmm. that we are holy people, a sanctified people, right? Mm -hmm. So we want to be able to, we, we all want blessings, but Yahweh doesn't demand much of us. He just commands mm -hmm. us to do yeah. one thing. So yeah. it's not like it's uh, yeah. Adam and Eve. Mm -hmm. You know, we discussed that, and I'm going to get ready to segue into that, mm -hmm. right? Let's segue into <laughs> that. Uh, okay. You know, uh, brothers. And sisters out there, if you've been keeping up, um, tuning in with us, um, we started our discussions in the book of Genesis, right, my brothers? So we, that, that title, the first class, seventh class that we started uh, was the creation. Mm -hmm. And I think we went through chapters one and two, mm -hmm. covered the creation. And then the next Sabbath, um, the, uh, the discussion was called the fall mm -hmm. of man. Mm -hmm. And we went into chapter three, mm -hmm. where Adam uh, and his wife, uh, took of the forbidden fruit. Mm -hmm. That fruit was uh, it was told not to eat mm -hmm. from the um, tree that was in the midst of the garden, right? Mm -hmm. And the knowledge of good and evil. Mm -hmm. But we also know that was the law, and you know he was given it. But there there was somebody else in the garden. We discussed this last week, mm -hmm. so I want to get a little a little recap before we get into the wages of sin. That's right. So anybody who wants to start um, any uh, from from just looking at Genesis chapter 3, I just want to, um, uh, anything that you may want to bring up or discuss so we can add a little clarity uh, to anything, um, do so now or think forever so. hold your peace. Now, I, think, I, think, I, think, so. I think that uh, it would be very edifying once we actually get into our class today. Okay. That uh, we, we, I just want to make a head note, verse 14 and 15 of chapter 3, mm -hmm. when we were reading the, if you would say the judgment that right. upon, upon the serpent and upon the woman, okay. it, it, it stood out because it's gonna, we're going we're gonna to cover this today mm -hmm. and clarify it. So it said, and, and, and Yahweh Elohim said unto the serpent, because thou hast done this, thou art cursed above all cattle and above every beast of the field. Upon thy belly shalt thou go, and dust shalt thou eat all the days of thy life. And I will put enmity between thee and the woman, and between thy seed and her seed, it shall bruise thy head, and thou shall bruise his heel. So when, once we get started, we go, we go, we go. Okay, you want to come back? We go okay. back to that. All right. Well, thank uh, you for giving the head note on that. Okay, yeah. praise yeah. God, uh, brother uh, uh, Elder uh, Uriah. When we we'll scroll around, anything that you want to touch base on from last Sabbath's uh, class uh, dealing with the fall of man um, in chapter three, uh, or I mean, or chapter know, two for that matter. But we want to just try to keep it I flowing. Mean, I mean, my, my, my Ella, going over the, um, you know, chapter one, two, and three, yes, sir. is very edifying, you know, you know, each time you go over this chapter, you know, these words and these meaning kind of engraved in you, so you can keep it, you know, on a daily basis, you know, be a part of your, your daily move, your daily deeds, you know, yes, sir. yeah, to, you know, to make us a, a, a better, you know, make us make a better person, um, you know, we, uh, better choices in our life. So that we don't fall, and even if we fall, knowing that there's a redeemer to redeem us back, you know, to see that His Word gonna throw us away back to the Father. See, and I, brother, you know, I, well said. I mean, because there has to be a way back to the Father. Yeah. Uh, because uh, when we look at when, um, let me see. I think in chapter we, we begin in chapter three. Mm -hmm. We want to go back to. Um, let me find it. Uh, um, 
Can you see my chapter three, mm -hmm. verse twenty one? But go ahead. Now, what's going to say? You know, that door that you know been left open is still open. You know, Adam opened that door. Right. You understand? And mm -hmm. it's it's a very you know mankind is going to go through all what we said hell. Right. The, the door is open for sin. Yeah. And um and and yeah, we've been and we've been living with it, and unfortunately, we don't know too much anything else. Yeah. In this in this body that we've been born into and given. That's what we know. Mm -hmm. So we have to deal with those. Um, but there's a way, like you said, that there is a way, there's even a way. in this state, yeah. right? in this physical state, in, in, in this fallen mm. world creation, mm. Yahweh's made a way through his son and, uh, and for, uh, through his son for us to, um, you know, come back you to him, to present to him. And uh, brother, when you were saying um, in verse 21 mm. of Genesis 3, Mm -hmm. You know, we talked about that last week when uh, that was that uh, Yahweh showed mercy on Adam and Eve, mm -hmm. right? And that was that mercy because the, the wages of the sin, and we're going to see, we see this again. Mm -hmm. The law, mm -hmm. you know, uh, the way for breaking that law, he said it's going to be death. They would die, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But he did something else. Already he had mercy. We said Yahweh had mercy, he made a provision mm -hmm. to show mercy. Adam and Eve yeah. by substitutionary sacrifice. That's right. Praise yeah. He substituted them because they didn't want to destroy them. We could have killed them then, right? Mm -hmm. and we discussed it, Nick talked about this when we went into this. And uh, so he, 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 an innocent animal had to be, an innocent animal had to be killed, sacrificed, mm -hmm. bloodshed mm -hmm. for the, for, for, to, to forgive them, right? Yeah. To cover their sin and that animal skin is a metaphor. Mm. Not, it's not it's not only a physical covering, but it's a spiritual it's a covering. covering. Mm. To why? Mm. To come so they can preach. Like we discussed it after the we talked about it even more. Right? Yeah. Uh, Elder and I, Uriah and I, that, that was how they could come back and present mm. themselves. Yeah. Because because they had to do that. And I think that was um in verse twenty two, he what he had to do certain things, um he had to, he had to put them out. If we look at verse twenty, I'm gonna of the garden of Eden, mm -hmm. so they so they put their they may put their hand on the tree of life. Mm -hmm. Now, because Yahweh knew that he had to put Adam and Eve out of there because sin can't continue forever, That's so right. they had to be put out. Yes, they couldn't have access to that. Yes, because he had already laid out a provision mm -hmm. on how he was going to do things, and so that's that's that what goes across my mind um, that these are very important verses, mm -hmm. you know, that we go over, you know, but, and uh, I'm, I don't, I'm going to get Brother Mick, you want to say okay. anything? He's, he, he, oh, he's, he's, he's ready to go. Yeah, I want to make sure. No, I'm just listening. Okay. Um, You mentioned mercy, and of course, uh, first thing I call love and mercy, and so on. Mm. Um, mercy is being able to wake up every day. Great job. So, so from reading this, it's like, okay, Yahweh showed them mercy because he didn't kill them, mm -hmm. you know, but... What do you learn? Like when Yahweh give you the mercy, how do I show that, you know, I'm broken hearted and yes, praise y'all for that mercy. Thank you for that mercy. You know, and the first thing is Adam. You know, Adam, like, like it's it's, it's all about reflection. Like, like when, when you mess up, how do you get up from, from messing up? Like Adam, you know, and, and this goes as father as men. Like Adam fell on a job. It started with him. Mm -hmm. Like sin wouldn't enter the world if he didn't eat from the tree. There, there you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, but one thing we'll, we, we'll read on is that I noticed Adam, I don't want to get ahead of myself, but Adam taught his children about the sacrifice. Mm. You got ahead of yourself. Oh, I, got I, got I, got <laughs> I got ahead of myself. I got ahead of myself. But but it's just like Adam. I mean, both. No, it's fine. it's you 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 got a wife and a husband right, that, right. that will have children. Like okay, as as one because we all one husband and wife are one. What right. do we learn? Right. You know, like like we talk about gener generational curses. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, like yeah. this 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 could have indeed started generous curse. But you know, we 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 struggle with the law, but. It's, it's just learning from your mistake and teaching people not to make your, the same mistake. Exactly, exactly. Because sometimes uh, when we are when we are young children, you know, and I grew up in the South, and uh, and we in a different time. My mom and and my my friends' parents, 
when they got out of line, we got out of line, not all the time, but th there was that time when you get out of line, they had to put that rod on them. Mm. They had to whoop you. Not, not only did they love you, mm. but they don't want you doing that again, so they had to do something. like you. So that meant they got to put their hands on you. They might put that belt on you. Right. You know, you might have to uh, pop you a little bit. You know, I know today they might say that's child abuse, but <laughs> guess what? We knew as children that she wasn't trying to kill me. Mm. You know, I didn't like it. But see, guess what? The difference with that, though, right? Because like we got we got a lot of brothers that just say, well, you know, put the fear of God in your child. Mm, okay, yeah. You just do that, right? But what about explaining to them and 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 and, and teaching them? How and why you shouldn't do this, so that they will understand. Mm. You exactly. just put that fear in them. Well, what happens when they have something that they need to talk to you about, and then now they're scared of you? They won't approach you, and so you be the last one to find out any damn thing that happens. Oh, yeah. Yeah. See, man, that's profound. Yeah. So you're showing that wisdom, that, yeah, that temperance, you know. And I guess when, when and I'm probably, I'm glad you brought that out because when that thing happened to me, my mom was don't you don't, don't let anybody in this house don't mm. do certain things to give me you uh, might come here and try to kill you. This is why we why are all these children in the yard? Mm -hmm. So I get hurt out here. So she would explain, but I went in, but I knew not to do it in the beginning. Right. But I did. Mm -hmm. I still broke her law. law. Mm -hmm. So what else would she do? Uh, she explained it. I knew not to do it. Mm -hmm. But she explained it. I, and I knew I was wrong. Mm -hmm. And my little friends knew, yeah. <laughs> she, <laughs> yeah, you would have got tore up. You know? And then it wouldn't take a week later. But like you said, but nowadays, mm -hmm. of course, now I talk to my child even more. I don't like just put the rod on, like I'm not putting the right. fear. You're right, because I can sit there and explain certain things. Mm -hmm. and, and a lot of times I don't have to go to corporal punishment, physical punishment, you know. Uh, with my little girl, I don't have to do that. But sometimes when they get but you know, a couple of pops here. Yeah. yeah. See, when she was young, my little pop here and there, she tears everywhere. And uh, I don't have too many problems out of it. But, <laughs> but our father, mm -hmm. the the act of breaking this law, as we've used the term, I've heard we've used the term, it was um, uh, grievously sinful what he did. Mm -hmm. You know, what they did. Because they had access to everything. The Most High had told you don't do these things. So, but again, he Yahweh made a, um, a provision. To take care of everything, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, take right. care of all of that. So uh, as we're reading through, you know, brothers, I know when we read through these things, we got to be about that mm -hmm. understanding. Yeah. Mm -hmm. we, we know now because we've been in the Word and been in this way for quite a while. Mm -hmm. So we know that you think you're skipping over something, but that might be the heart of the whole chapter. Yeah, that one. Thing you skipped over, yeah. but that's the key to the whole thing. Mm -hmm. That one sentence or that one word, and if you don't understand that word, we we encourage y'all go out and buy your concordance. Mm -hmm. If right. you're studying the word, buy your concordance. Look at the concord. Take time. You don't have to listen to everybody. You don't have to listen to take our word for it. Go ahead and get your concordance and look at it and and, and try to get a good understanding. Um, don't breeze through this thing. Yeah, because it says study to show yourself approved. I, um, I also want you guys, I want, I want you guys' opinion on uh, um, something I saw in uh, Genesis. Uh, um, I might have got a little bit of, I might have got a little ahead of myself there, um, mm -hmm. Brother Mikael. I well, don't know if we're ahead of myself, but I'm going to wait on that. But and you know, know one we start, we come back to Brother uh, Obi when we get started on, the, on his head note. Go ahead. Yeah, one important point I definitely want to make. Uh, um, this it's in this chapter three. Um, I, I, I was on Facebook this week, and and, and Facebook helps me meditate because because mm -hmm. it showed me what to do and what not to do. Because because okay. you see people from mine. So um, it was this gentleman, and he 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 put it on Facebook. He said, um, I don't know why married women keep on trying to talk to me. I said, because you want to die. That's why. Oh wow. You because you know what's going on. Mm. You put that on Facebook as a badge of honor. Oh, right. I have married. Mm. No, you want to die. That's one thing my brother taught me. Leave people wives and girls, they will kill you. Mm. Now I go back to here. Now one thing, Eve, no, well, I, 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 I'll put this on Adam. Adam, make sure that his wife understand you take counsel from no one but me. 
Because you're married to me, right? So why would you take counsel from another man? Because because he went to the serpent. Now we're we're not gonna take because Eve, when when Eve ate, Eve was seeking wisdom to be. We Eve was was looking for to something to gain. She was looking for wisdom. Adam just ate it because he ate it. So 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 you can see the mindset of our women. She was searching for something, but she should have went to her husband. Well, and and I, but also look at it like this too. Everybody, y'all have a different view. That's a great. That's a good way of looking at it. Particularly now. Yeah, yeah, we're talking about now for us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, you shouldn't be taking counsel from uh, <laughs> other men yeah. uh, outside from your husband. Mm -hmm. That is wrong on many levels. Yeah. Because yeah. uh, you're, what did you say, uh, Uriah? You're opening the door mm. to something. Mm -hmm. To something. Yeah, that's what Adam did. You're mm -hmm. opening the door. Next thing you know, you're counseling. Next thing you know, oh, yeah. And you, know, and you just never know. You say that wasn't the intent mm. to fall into adultery. Yeah. It says keep it real. Yeah. Right. But but, yeah. but but you open the door mm -hmm. and feelings and, and if this uh, my husband is not saying this and he's not doing that and the brother you know that sister's married. Now mm -hmm. I don't want to get into the issue of adultery, but like you said <laughs> that you want you but but you but you're right you want to die you want to die yeah. physically you might get physically hurt and spiritually and, and spiritually hurt yeah and and, and it's, you know because you're going to be judged in the later life yeah mm -hmm. you, well well Yahweh. Yeah. I got killed and he murdered me. Well, you got murdered for committing the adultery. You know, I'm gonna judge him, but then you gotta get judged again. You might not even make it out. Be in the lake of fire somewhere. Okay. But uh, but it goes to love thy neighbor. Mm -hmm. If I loved you, why would I even attempt to sleep with your wife? Right. Treat others that you want. If you didn't want, if you don't want nobody messing or talking to your wife, you shouldn't do that. Mm -hmm. But see, but, but when you turn your back on y'all, when you don't have an understanding of the law. Mm. If your culture, be it, it, this, this is like I said before, Yahweh put that law in the earth. Mm. He spoke it. We that say light. That, that light. Mm -hmm. So if you go most any civilization, country, culture, mm. that is taboo. Mm -hmm. That is strictly something taboo prohibited among any most civilized country in the world. Yeah. I've seen a show. Uh, the people were in a primitive South American land in the jungle somewhere. Mm. That's, they didn't have very little contact. They literally had killed one of the tribes men for sleeping with the other. I think they killed both of them yeah. according to the law. They, and now, how did they get that? Now we know that's the law of our fathers, right? Yeah. And the, and the law is they killed the, both the adulterer and the adulteress. But I saw these people. They were literally. They were talking. Yeah, they killed the woman out by the water. And the man. Now that before I even got into the truth, mm -hmm. I was like, "Wow!" Mm -hmm. But that was within their society. That wasn't murder. Yeah, they had tab committed a serious taboo, mm -hmm. right? And they got stoned. Mm -hmm. But they beat them in the head or stoned them. Mm -hmm. But now that was a what we would call a primitive group of people. Mm -hmm. How did they? Well, how did they come to have that type of uh, understanding? That Yahweh put that in the earth. Mm -hmm. It was already in the earth. Correct. That's mm -hmm. right. Now, going back to what you brought up about um, Eve uh, not taking counsel, but let's go back to look at Eve's creation. Can somebody go there and, and let's let's go back um, when, when, when she was created in verse twenty, uh, verse chapter two, verse twenty-one. Let's go down to um, uh, verse twenty-three. Okay. Genesis chapter 2, verse 21. And Yahweh Elohim caused a deep sleep to fall upon Adam, and he slept. And he took one of his ribs and closed up the flesh instead thereof. And the rib which Yahweh Elohim had taken from man made he woman, and brought her unto the man. And Adam said, This is now bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman because she was taken out of man. Keep going to 23 and 24. Oh, 24. Therefore, verse 24, Therefore shall a man leave his father and his mother and shall cleave unto his wife. And no, no, I'm sorry. I meant 23 and 24. Okay, I'm sorry. Oh, Genesis chapter 2, verse 23. And Adam said, This is now bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh, and she should be called woman, because she was taken out of man. Therefore shall a man leave his father and his mother and shall cleave unto his wife, and they shall be one flesh. Okay, now read verse 20 going back up. Let's see. Uh, before, before, before he put Adam to sleep, mm -hmm. what does Yahweh say? Okay, Genesis chapter 2, verse 20. And Adam gave names to all cattle and to the fowl 
of the air and to every beast of the field. But for Adam, there was not found a help meet for him. Okay, so we see that <clears throat> what you were saying about taking counsel, mm -hmm. but when they were created, mm -hmm. you know, Adam was, the, where you're going with this. He was okay. the head. Yeah, he was the first created, mm -hmm. and the woman came from him. Okay. But the intent was like they were kind of co-equal in a yeah. way. Uh, she was a helpmate to help to assist him. Yeah. There was no hierarchy until the judgment. Mm -hmm. When he said that you're going to, and we find that, go to verse um, 16 in chapter 3. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and these are some of the things that, you know, we want to yep. look at. Genesis chapter 3, verse 16. And unto the woman he said, I will greatly multiply thy sorrow and thy conception. And the sorrow that shall bring forth children and thy desire shall be to thy husband and mm -hmm. he shall rule over thee. Mm -hmm. So when they, everything got thrown out of that order, you know, she could have, Adam's right there, like you said, he's yeah. right there with her. Right there. This new, I, I, I want to say new being, but this, this, this serpent, this talking serpent or whatever, he's there, full intellect, mm -hmm. wisdom. He knows the law and he's talking, to, you know, we know that Satan in, the, in, that, in this being, mm -hmm. but he lays it out. Mm -hmm. and, and she is deceived, right? But Yahweh still called her, you we, we know, she was still a weaker vessel. Yeah. So you're right. So there's two things, you know, mm -hmm. we, we, you know, it's not, uh, you can look at it there in both ways. Mm -hmm. Because she, well, she could look to her husband. Didn't Yahweh say don't eat? Exactly. 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 Go back to the source of where you got your information from. Come on now. Mm -hmm. That's what we're saying. You could have looked right here. That's right. Hey, but Adam. What should I do? Yeah, yeah, way, yeah. He said, okay. You know, so that didn't happen. Yeah. Obviously. Right. Mm -hmm. And we we talked about this last week, I think when we get uh in the gospel of John chapter four. I think is that right? The woman, the Samaritan woman mm -hmm. by the well. Mm -hmm. That was that where it is? Mm -hmm. and, and and the same thing with Yahshua. What did Yahshua say? Go to God. Let's go okay. to the gospel. John, let's, let's follow up with go your ahead. position. Go and get uh, your husband. Yeah, go and get your husband. Let's go ahead and follow mm, up. Respect. Because what she should have done, the Mashiach already late talked about it too. Consistent mm. with this law. Because that law was in the earth and it got codified to with Israel. Um go to we're in the gospel of John, um, where Yahshua comes to the woman, asks for water, you know, okay. and um oh, but she said, Go to your husband. Okay. Uh and he says, um, um, verse 14 mm -hmm. John chapter 4 verse 14 but whosoever drinketh of the water that I shall give him shall never thirst but the water that I shall give him shall be in him in a well of water springing out into everlasting life okay. mm -hmm. the woman said unto him sir give me this water that I thirst not neither come hither to draw Yahshua said unto her, Go, call thy husband, and come hither. Mm -hmm. The woman answered and said, I have no husband. Yahshua said unto her, Thou hast well said, I have no husband. For thou hast five husbands, mm -hmm. and whom thou now hast is not thy husband. And that says, Thou truly. And what did she say after that? Just get back then. The woman said unto him, Sir, I perceive that thou art a prophet. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. So we're seeing, but like you said, Brother Nick, <clears throat> You shouldn't be going to other man seeking counsel about anything, you know, outside, mm -hmm. you know, particularly important matters. Mm -hmm. You should go to your husband if you're married. Yeah. Right. This is only speaking to married women now. Yeah. Yeah. Now, if you're a single woman, you may have a father. Mm -hmm. okay. You might go to your father and talk to your father, but in the way we are in the society, you, you're, you're a grown adult woman, mm -hmm. so therefore you do what you want to do, right? Yeah. But here, the Mashiach is keeping the law because in, in this culture of Israel, mm -hmm. you know, a woman. Just couldn't bind herself uh, to a oath without, mm. you know, without the no. father or the husband no. ratifying or approving it. That's so right. just like you said, my go brother, law. you go to the law, yeah. turn around, find, find where's my husband, where's my father? Okay. Because you know, obviously, my uh, my older adult girls, they still come to me with the, for advice, okay. and they and they'll listen. I say, don't do that. Don't don't do this. That's a bad move. Mm. Uh, for example, don't do that uh, because it's trouble. Because I remember when uh, I think I had someone ask me uh, about doing the uh, these loans they were getting uh, during the COVID issues and all the stuff was going down. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And people getting up, people said one person coming, hey, they approved me for uh, forty six, some thousand, forty thousand. 
Yeah, I, but this was a family member. And I said, well, well what, 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 what did you qualify for that? What business you got? Well, such and such did it for me. I said, well, no. Mm -hmm. No, 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 no. Mm -hmm. That's going to be, not only it's wrong, but for you, it's going to be, it's going to be a follow-up. And they're putting people in jail now yeah. for that very, that very thing. Mm -hmm. Leave her alone. So sometimes that father, that husband, um, is a critical, critical component here. So yeah. Eve, now we're not, because, but look, Yahweh already, this thing had to play out that way. Yeah. So we, we don't know, but you know what I mean? Yeah. It had to play, well, they, you know, they did it. The man failed. That's right. But you're right, it is a critical lesson, Brother Mick, yeah. to, you know, she had that source right there, but they didn't collaborate. Because when he said those magic words, you know, it's, it'll make you wise. Mm. You'd be like God. Mm. Mm. Well, let's be fair. What if somebody came to, came to you with a deal like that? They may not put it in that context. Well, you can make this money. Right. Yeah, 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 you're going to blow up. Mm. You have this money, you have some fame. It's called gain. Yeah, and, and they can deliver it. Oh, but, yeah. and, and they deliver it. Oh, yeah. And you get it. But then once you get it, you're like, well, wait a minute. I didn't anticipate these consequences. <laughs> he told me all this. You know, yeah, I didn't know all this. Wait, 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 what you mean? You know, I got to do this. I got to do that. I got to do yeah. all these different conditions. You know? mm. But we expect you We expect you to fulfill your your arrangement, yeah. your, your agreement, your word. So these you, are some things that are You know, you some conditions. Oh yeah, I had an interesting um, talk back while with his sister, and I said, "There's no such thing as unconditional love. Like, what love is unconditional? Like, you ain't got to do nothing, Come and you're gonna continue to receive it. What love is unconditional? Come on, that, that's, 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 that's just like I mean, I hate to say, it, but we're gonna keep it real. I'm gonna keep it real. That's just like an abusive husband just beating you, point like, and then, no, baby, I still love you. What? And your lip, your face wall. Exactly. And, 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 and eyes <laughs> bloody. <laughs> and just even from our, and, and, and just even for my sister for a second, he said, um, I love my child. Nah, you don't love your child unconditional. Mm. No one loves their child unconditional. Okay. No matter what that child does to you, nah, it don't work like that. Mm -hmm. So it's no different than Yahweh. Right. Yahweh laws, Yahweh love and, and mercy comes with conditions. Yeah. Do, doesn't say the command have a mercy on a thousand that keep my commandments. Right. Right. Exactly. So it's conditions. Exactly. Well, we know that first covenant is a conditional mm. covenant. It's conditioned on you doing what you do. Yeah. If yeah. you do this, yeah. then I'll do that. We call them law. We're pro quo. It's fair. Yeah. I, I'll do this if you do that. Just balance. Yeah. It's balance. Mm. But if you don't do these mm. things, then he lays out all those conditions in yeah. Deuteronomy. Yeah. Mm. We'll get to that at some point, yeah, right. if y'all willing. If y'all will. Mm. But curse you're going to be in the land, curse you're going to be in the field. Yeah. Da, da, da. And even with this, this was not a conditional command in here mm. with them. They were just told, don't eat of it. You know? Same. Yeah, just don't do it. Mm. But, but there will be consequences. Yeah, yeah, no, but it was, yeah, it was, that, it, it, it was consequences. That's consequences. In that day, you shall die. Mm. In that day, you shall die. Well, I, I didn't die right then, but you did die. You did. But in order to continue with humanity to propagate and to procreate, mm. you had to continue to live. Because now Yahweh had to go, he had made a provision for it. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. uh, to go there. But. Now, you know, we praise y'all for the blessing of being able to uh, uh, go through uh, Genesis 1, 2, and 3. And uh, you can find those uh, discussions, I think, on Facebook. Yes, mm -hmm. and, uh, it's on Facebook. Facebook, right YouTube. Yeah, yeah. Usually all our lessons, um, they, they streamline on Facebook, YouTube. With, with, within the next day, be uploaded. And then little clips on uh, they'll be on Instagram also. So, so just, just give us time. Be patient with us. We're, we're going to try to um, attack every platform to make sure this message be on. Praise God. Praise God. Thank, Thank you for that. Because, again, we looked at it again. The first one we did was the creation, mm -hmm. chapters 1 and 2. And then we went into the fall of man. Mm -hmm. um, we delved deeply into chapter 3. Mm -hmm. And um, and as you can see, there's a lot of meat in that. And it's worth, I guess, going back to review right. and to go ahead and do a recap on it. But today's, like you said, they finally get to the class yeah. today. Praise y'all. But Praise today's topic mm -hmm. in class is the wages of sin. And uh, in the wages of sin, we're going to pick up in the book, uh, and we're going to talk about that. Um, let me see that in my pen. Um, we're going to go into uh, Genesis chapter 4. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. But, but before we jump into chapter four, I want to make sure that we're all on the same page um, about definition. We got, we know wages means you get paid, mm-hmm. right? For sure. You get paid for something. Mm-hmm. So wages of sin. Mm-hmm. So if you're out here mm-hmm. running uh, uh, opposing Yahweh's law right. and the Mashiach's law, right? There's going to be some of you get it right now. Uh, mm. We're in America because of that. Mm. Oh, yeah, we're, we're, we're Israel. That's why we're here. Yeah. We broke Yahweh's law. But, you know, some of us died. But but that curse was we're going to be in captivity. Mm-hmm. We're going to be, we're going to go through all these situations. But ultimately, you know, Yahweh could have killed us off, but he had mercy on us. Mm-hmm. So uh, we can continue, you know, to, you know, and, 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 and the way to come back to Yahweh was through Yahshua. Yep, right? Yeah. He had, it took generations, 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 but the, it was prophesied for him to come. But let's look at the definition. Let's find out what sin is, because you know, before you came in the truth, what you thought sin was. Before we go to the, to the to the scripture, what did you think sin was before you really came into the truth, man? Well, my mom taught me well, so I I I, I had an idea. I had a very like she she did a magnificent job of playing both roles so i she one one thing my mother all on um, the saying she told me said once someone tell you something you're going to be held accountable for that person told you. okay so so basically growing up sin is just i mean yeah yeah i knew we we all that like you said that law is always here we know right from wrong. okay so we know right from wrong so sin to me was just like wrong doing yeah, it wrong doing wrong so um and i think that's that universal spirit that that got God allowed that that law was in us, even though we might have been a uh, Christian, uh, following the Christian doctrine, mm-hmm. doctrine, but it was there, yeah. right? Now we may not have been treated fairly by our those who possessed us who were Christians mm-hmm. in this nation and in this in the in, in the Ameri- in the Caribbeans and in, in the part in Latin America because mm-hmm. we were brought here slaves. Mm-hmm. Let's be honest. Mm-hmm. So, but it was something in us when we got hold to Christianity and we were given it. We our fathers saw the spirit. In it, so we did know about right and wrong, not stealing, not doing this. Uh, I, and I kind of want to get an idea of what before you came in the truth, mm-hmm. uh, Obi. What did you think sin was? What did you? What was your? What was your idea? Just doing wrong. Okay, going going against that which uh, the Creator had set out for us to do. Yeah, yeah. Okay, Elder you right. Yeah, uh, to keep it like it in a sim- really really simple form. Is that something bad? Mm, right. You know, something mm. bad that the creator dislike. Mm. Period. Mm. You know, you know, as a little one growing up. Mm. Yeah, so it, it wasn't much to it. And if you do that something bad, you're gonna be thrown into the lake of fire. Right. You yeah. are you going to hell? Mm. Yeah. Know. So pretty much they implant that in us from an early age. You know, even though we'll go behind our parents. And do things, you know, that is not right. Mm. Yeah, but uh, and then we'll kind of make up for it. But pretty much, that's it. Okay, so so we can see examples of this bad, mm-hmm. uh, doing wrong, simple, you know, just something that. And we, I think, we all grew up with under the moral, a moral law mm-hmm. of, of you know, this is wrong. This is, you know, don't do that. Mm-hmm. And sometimes going back there, we just said, sometimes we have to get talked to mm-hmm. uh, sternly, uh, Brother Obi, as you said. Mm-hmm. And, and then you might get that whooping on top of it. You get explained, we'll talk to you, but this was so egregious. Mm-hmm. This was so bad what you did. Mm-hmm. I can't let you off the hook. I got mm-hmm. to do something. Now, if you're certain ages, well, look, you ain't, you're not going out no more for a while. You're going to get grounded. You got to stay home. Uh, you can't take the car out. You're not going to be able to go, you know, but there was a consequence, right? But let's just see what the, our, uh, within the culture of the children of Israel, mm-hmm. what is saying. Let's go to First John, mm-hmm. okay, chapter 3. And um, Mick, uh, would you go ahead and i just put you on the spot again. And if you would read, uh, I want to go down to verses 1 through 10. Uh, I just want to go through all of that. That's so First John chapter 2. Three, three, uh, verses one through ten. Okay. And I think this is going to give a, you know, a good a, 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 outline. A, yes, a good outline. Yeah. And I think that we'll, we'll see where we're coming from because again, this class, this discussion and class is entitled "Wages of Sin: The Payment 
for sin. Mm -hmm. And after he reads this, we're gonna uh, we're gonna modify that a little bit. The wages are blank, and we're gonna see how can we fill it in. Mm -hmm. Okay, go ahead, brother Nick, if you got it. Okay, and you wanted me to read verse nine to uh, uh, ten. Through yeah, 10. First John okay. chapter three, mm -hmm. one through ten. All right, First John chapter three, verse one. Behold. What manner of love the Father have bestowed upon us that we should be called the sons of Elohim? Mm -hmm. Therefore the world know us not, because it knew him not. Beloved, now are we the sons of Elohim, and and it do it not yet appear what we shall be, but we know that. When he shall appear, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. And they're talking about the Messiah, mm -hmm. Yeshua. Okay, in verse 3, And every man that hath this hope in him purifieth himself even as he is pure. Mm -hmm. Whosoever committed sin transgressed against the law. For sin is that... Let me repeat that again. Yeah, that um, 1 John chapter 3, verse 4. Whosoever committed sin transgressed also the law. For sin is a transgression of the law. Okay. Now we got... We're going to keep uh, going to verse 10. Mm -hmm. But right there, whosoever what committed sin transgresses also the law. For sin is the transgression of the law. That's right. So we know, so now we got a better understanding of what was going on with Adam and Eve. That's right. He had set a law. Mm -hmm. They transgressed the law. Mm -hmm. Right? That's right. So, mm, so mm -hmm. we have to look at that um, and see, get some understanding. So Yahweh gave Israel mm -hmm. the oracles, right? Mm -hmm. So only Israel was given the law, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, what, what you going to say, brother? It was a question I was going to throw out there. I hope I can answer. Somebody could answer. <laughs> yeah, <I'm laughs> hey, nervous. oh, you I'm better. I'm nervous. Hey, you yeah. better. The head guy, the head guy. No, what I'm looking at, you're saying sin is a transgression of the law. Right. But suppose that person have no knowledge of the mm. law. Mm -hmm. Okay. So Where we go ahead. from there? Well, we, we, we Paul, look at Paul it. Paul answered that. But yeah, Paul answered that. We can go... Um, Romans. Yeah, we can go to Romans. Yeah, mm -hmm. you can go to Romans. Uh, is it Romans nine or eleven? Uh, it's Romans two. And so, okay, yeah, I think I got you. Romans two. Yes. And, uh, you yeah, can to read that. You go ahead and read it, uh, brother. Uh, since you brought up, the, you can hold your place with First um, uh, John. Mm -hmm. Or you're going to go in chapter two of Romans. Uh, you you, you want to start in verse eight? Okay. Or, or verse seven. Wherever you want me to pick it up from. Uh, go to verse 7 through. Um, now you 15, can stop me whenever you're 15. ready. What do you think, uh, Mick? I think 15 is good. Yeah. Yeah. You can. That's perfect. We're in the book of Romans, chapter 2, verse um, 7. To them, to them who by patient continuance in well doing seek for glory and honor and in immortality eternal life. But unto them that are contentious and do not obey the truth, but obey unrighteousness, indignation, and wrath. You say that truth, that's the law. Mm -hmm. Tribulation, verse 9, tribulation and anguish upon every soul of man that doeth evil of the Jew first and also of the Gentile. Well, so what say you about verse 9 then? Mm. So why, why, is it, why is it to the Jew first mm. and then the Gentile? Why? Because because we was given the law, weren't we? That's right. Yeah, that's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah, I made a covenant with Israel. Mm -hmm. We make covenant with the other nations. Mm -hmm. That's right. All right. Verse ten. But glory, honor, and peace to every man that worketh good, to the Jew first, and mm -hmm. also to the Gentile. That blessing first. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Verse eleven. For there is no respect of persons with Elohim. Oh, okay. Mm. Okay. So Yahweh ain't like us. Mm. Oh, so titles don't matter, huh? Mm. Well, I guess you're right. Like <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> I put you in the position. Yeah. Verse 12. For as many have sinned without law shall also perish without law. I think you answered your question right there. Mm. And as many have sinned in the law. Mm -hmm. Shall be judged by the law. See right there when you say without law, it was sin without the law. So then you say, oh, are they without hope? But then you keep reading. Mm. Then it gets even deeper. Yeah, okay. Continue, verse, brother. verse 13. When the book of Romans, chapter 2, verse 13. For not the hearers of the law are just before Elohim, but the doers of the law shall be justified. So this is Paul talking now. Yeah, this so is Paul. They say Paul is the founder of Christianity. That's, mm. not, that's not so. That's not so. Okay. Mm -hmm. He's a he. He was a uh, uh, 
he was in that new way, mm. following the Mashiach. He kept all of the, the traditions and the laws mm. of the fathers given him under the under the law. Okay. But Yahshua called him to do what? Mm. To go be a yeah, light to the Gentiles. Yeah. yeah, that's right. Verse 14. Yeah. For when the Gentiles, which are not the law, do by nature the things contained in the law, these having not the law are a law unto themselves, which show the works of the law written in their heart, their content also bearing witness, and their thoughts, the mean while accusing or else excusing one another. Go to 16, wrap up to 16. In the day when Elohim shall judge the secret of men by Yeshua HaMashiach, according to my gospel. So, 12, if you leave verse 12, answering your question, what if you don't have the law? That was your question. What yeah. if you don't have the law? Because you, uh, Brother Mick was reading in 1 John 3, that transgression of the law. Mm -hmm. And we're saying, what, what, what if the law wasn't given to you? Mm -hmm. You're not of the nation of Israel. Mm -hmm. You don't know anything about that. Well, you hit it right there, Brother uh, Brother Uriah. The first one you see, when you first see 12, it says, for as many have sinned without law, shall also be perished without law. Mm. Right? You think you might be that thinking, without well, you're in bad shape. Mm. Well, not really. But then it's, it's just setting it out for you. Yeah. And, says, and as many have sinned in the law, those are the, that's the circumcision. Yep. That's us, the Jews. Yep. Israel. He says, those who sin in the law shall be judged by it, for that it laid out. Because mm. not the hearers of the law should be judged. And we know it's a spirit, spiritual thing, mm -hmm. spirit of the law. Mm -hmm. But then verse 14, what do you think about that, Obi? Verse 14 kind of puts it in there, but when the Gentiles, which have not the law. Mm. You want to apply on that a little more? I mean, they, they have the law spiritually. There you go. You see, mm. they, 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 they carry out the law, but they carry out the spirit of the law. Mm. The letter of the law, like our fathers. Mm. Like, right, like, right, yeah. like a, if a building is on fire. Right. The, 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 the Gentiles will come in there and rescue you. Exactly. Like, exactly. Okay. So, I mean, this is a, uh, yeah. Because that, that law is in all men. Yes, sir. That law, we're going back, when that light, let that be light, he created mm. that law. So, all men have a light in them. That's right. Because that, if all men did not have that light in them, then why would the Mashiach come to, you know, to, be, to, to give his life for men? No. Mm. But for many, but for the Gentiles as well. That's right. Right? So, that light, so they know right from wrong. Mm. All the nations... They know right from wrong. They know murder is wrong. Yeah. They know uh, stealing is wrong. Yeah. Now they may justify doing inhumanity toward human, inhumanity to, to uh, inhumanity uh, of, uh, against each other, mm -hmm. and justify it. Right. But they know they're wrong. Right. Mm -hmm. But this is letting us know right here. But when when they do those things, those spiritual things, as Obi said, then then we're we're good. Now they're good. So don't don't you can't judge what Yahweh that Christian that Christian brother mm -hmm. many of our brothers are Christians right mm -hmm. so they follow the Gentile uh, mindset you know Christianity mm -hmm. but guess what until Yahweh called them you leave them alone because Yahweh is able to save that's right for you it's impossible mm -hmm. but with Yahweh well, who mm -hmm. can be saved with well, nothing impossible that's right. That's right but go ahead you know what my elder brother. You know, you have some folks out there who say that, uh, you know what, uh, I don't want to hear. I don't want to hear the law, you know, because, you know, you know, I don't want to hear. You know, I the law, I don't want to hear. Because then, knowing the law, you know, you have to do the things that are written in the law. But not knowing it, you're not going to do the things, you know. So they are ignorant, ignorant to the law. Right. But for those of us who have this mm -hmm. law, and we have... Um, and we've been baptized in the name of Yahshua HaMashiach, mm -hmm. right? And our this is more important. Our past sins have been forgiven. Mm -hmm. That's what our faith is anchored in. Okay. It ain't about something earthly and tangible. Mm -hmm. It's about that. Yeah. So, you know, go ahead. But, you, know, I, you know, just to respond to what you just said, you know, we have to be on the blood. But that's the key. Yeah, that's the key. That's the key. Now, going forward, you're gonna to have to still walk, you know, and, and do things. They're gonna, you know, turn some mm. uh, a complete righteous person. Mm -hmm. That's gonna be your walk. Mm. But going back to what you said, when I don't want to hear the law, uh, this and this. Okay, they may not want to hear it, but a lot of times they've seen something mm -hmm. in somebody who's saying, "Well, I'm an Israelite and I believe in the Mashiach." Mm. And brother Obi, I want you to pick up 
in verse 17 and read. And now we're going to see it again. Hello, brother. Before, 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 before okay. um, you know, um, Obi picked up, I just want to read one verse from mm -hmm. Proverbs. Okay. 28. Okay. And hold your place in First John, brother Nick. You don't doing a lot today. I see you. <laughs> oh, <praise laughs> God. you see you. Hey, man, in, in the spirit, man. Mr. Hey, Mr. Wherever Mr. the spirit Mr. take him. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, a big park. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Proverbs chapter um, <laughs> Proverbs uh, chapter uh, 28, verse I'm the, 9. I'm the, I'm, I'm, <laughs> the old, I'm the old media. Yeah. Yeah. Proverbs 28, yeah. Yeah. Uh, verse Faces 9. Faces, <laughs> yeah. Faces, sir. Plural. Let's go ahead. We're in the book of Proverbs, chapter 28. That's one verse I'm going to read. Mm -hmm. He that turneth away his... Verse? This verse. Verse 9. Okay. Yeah, uh, I'm sorry about that. Um, we're going to read one verse, verse 9. He said, He that turneth away his ear from hearing the law, even his prayer shall be abomination. Mm -hmm. And we know what his abomination is about. Right. You're going to be killed, thrown in the lake of fire. Like you got to be careful with that. So you, 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 when you hear things... You know better, so now you're being uh, uh, not uh, you, you, you're being what is called uh, that uh, presumptuous. That presumptuous, thank you, brother. Mm -hmm. That presumptuous saying, yeah. you know it. You're mm -hmm. still doing it, and you haven't sought mm -hmm. uh, forgiveness mm -hmm. to repent from it. It's like you said, if Yahweh don't allow him to see at that time, now Yahweh can have mercy. Well, you know exactly. We're not Yahweh. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Because I don't done some stuff. I don't want you to know I've done. It. Mm -hmm. yeah. Hey, oh, we've all see. done some things. Nobody, if they knew what you've done, let's just keep it real, man. Right. Nick, always try keeping it real. I'm going to go back to him. <laughs> we've all done some things that we've done. We Only maybe only Yahweh know about it and other people. Yeah. If you don't want that, but you sought and asked for forgiveness right, in secret. Right. Yeah. And, and, and through the blood, mm -hmm. they're forgiven. But don't become, a, don't, don't become a hypocrite now. And then acting like you don't done worse than everybody I know in, in the neighborhood. Mm-hmm. And they know it. Right. And now you act like you're supposed to be Mr. Pyatt. Holy than that. Holy than that. Right. But now, I asked I ask Obi because we got on the discussion mm -hmm. uh, about what people see us do. Because he was saying it's not this, uh, even the Gentiles, if they have the spirit, mm -hmm. they are law to themselves, mm -hmm. right? Of righteousness. But now, mm -hmm. we're going to be judged by the law because we, we, the law was given to us. But now, what if people... But we gotta be careful how we portray, how we pre present and portray, uh, and, and and live. Cause people watch; mm -hmm. they're watching you. Mm -hmm. So pick up on seventeen, my brother. Chap Romans two, verse seventeen. And I think this is apropos to what we we're talking about. Yes, sir. Verse seventeen. Behold, thou art called a Jew, and resteth in the law, and maketh thy boast of Elohim. Okay, I got this law. Mm -hmm. I'm Israelite. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm sealed. I'm sealed up. Yeah. <laughs> Praise God. Right. I'm sealed. And knowest his will, and approveth the things that are more excellent, being instructed out of the law, and are confident that thou thyself art a guide of the blind, a light of them which are in darkness. A pause. Keepers of the house of light. Mm -hmm. So we're talking about keeping that law, keeping the word, the, spirit, the law, and the spirit of the law. That's right. Mm -hmm. But so now, Nick. Now you, you, you we, we see you now. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's what made my help. Wait a minute. Oh, right. But that's why we want to, you know, we went lighthearted about it mm -hmm. in the sense that we know that what we're doing is critical mm -hmm. and it's important. Mm -hmm. We take this what we're doing serious. Yeah. Very, yeah. Serious. Yeah. Very serious. We're keeping it real, yeah. but we're keeping this thing. Yeah. Let's be sober. Mm -hmm. but we know what we got. We, we know yeah. what's going on mm -hmm. because Yahweh sees us. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. And we're on verse 20. Oh, you can read 19 again if you wish. Yes, sir. And are confident that thou thyself art a guide of the blind, a light of them which are in darkness, an instructor of the foolish, a teacher of babes. Mm -hmm. what are we doing? Okay, we, yes, sir. Which has the form of knowledge and of the truth in the law. Thou therefore which teachest another, teachest thou not thyself? Mm -hmm. Thou that preachest a man should not steal, dost thou steal? Uh -oh. Thou that sayest a man should not commit adultery, dost thou commit adultery? Okay. Mm -hmm. Thou that abhorrest idols, does thou commit sacrilege? Right. Thou that makest thy boast of the law, through breaking the law, dishonorest thou Elohim? Mm -hmm. For the name of Elohim is blasphemed among the Gentiles through you, mm -hmm. as it is written. And mm -hmm. pause for one second right there. I want you to read all the way to 29. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Right there. Uh, oh, we're doing this. No, uh, the Christians ain't calling on Yahweh. No. The Muslims don't call on Yahweh. Mm -hmm. Those of us who call ourselves Israel, we call on Yahweh. Mm. 
Christian called on God from mm -hmm. Jesus. He said the name being blasphemed among the Gentiles through you. Through you. They watching you, Israel, yeah. mm -hmm. today. They see how you carry on. Mm -hmm. And the Gentiles looking at that. This supposed to be? They are on the Sabbath. Woo! They on the Sabbath. Mm -hmm. now, this, now, this supposed to, and now you got people turning, the whole you turning people away. Mm -hmm. That's that spirit of Pharisee. That's yeah, that spirit that's like Pharisee. Way to love that. You know what, what comes to mind that? when you read this? Because we, we we got a brother. He's a Gentile. We know Misha. He got yeah, sold yeah. sold he, he, out he, he records, shalom, shalom. whatever. Mm -hmm. And how I look shalom. at him. Hey, shalom. The circumcised brother. When I mean circumcised, people that were given the law. The mm -hmm. Hebrew Israelite. I've seen that that brother is doing things that Yahweh's people can't do. He's bringing Yahweh's people together music. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then, then we see the same thing. The, the Mashiach said, I've seen no greater faith. No, not in that of Israel. Not in that that was Cornelius. Right. But you have people that was given a lot persecuting another nation for having the light that was written in chapter one. Mm. Jealousy. 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 Right. Hmm. That right. Gentile right. Meshach right. is bringing Yahweh's people together, making music, glorifying his name. Hmm. But because he's not of our people, oh, you look down on him. But you're not Yahweh. Yahweh put the spirit in that brother. Right. And I think that's I think that's that's critical because we don't know who Yahweh Yahweh is gonna call from all the nations. He said many are called many. Many. But who, who doesn't call them? Well who doesn't call them? <laughs> who doesn't choose? But not so, me. I don't so you put your so. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, no, yeah, you put yourself in being a judge. Mm -hmm. Now if you are Elohim, you you can't even save yourself. Mm -hmm. But you're gonna make your decision, you know, on somebody. Yes, Yahweh gave us this truth to his people. Mm -hmm. You know, I I, I I back not down on that. But we are we we are we are by the blood, mm -hmm. you know what I mean. But Yahweh, I'm trying to make sure I'm one of that number. They say mm -hmm. we're Christian. I my main goal is to make sure yeah. I'm one of the numbers. Right. And the same go marching in. Yeah. yeah, I gotta make sure I'm one of them. <laughs> yeah, I'm here doing all this. Then they say, well, well tell your name and who do your name to get called? Mm -hmm. And you looking at what happened? Right. And oh. they you know get thee from me. You work of what of lawlessness and nickel. Yeah, How you even know me? I was at the side. I did the Sabbath. I did this. I did that. I did all this stuff. And what they're gonna say? Mm. It'll be gnashing of teeth, right? Yeah. Depart from me. Gnashing of you know what gnashing of teeth means? <laughs> they're mm -hmm. gonna be cussing. I'll be damned. Right. I don't I'm did all this. I'm gonna this. I'm gonna get the right. I, I'm not in the book. Well, you might well curse, but it, it ain't gonna change nothing. Mm. You don't got resurrected now. Mm. Mm. And now who wanna be put in that situation? No one, man. man. At all, I don't all. wish nobody on nobody, but the thing about it is you gotta start doing that now. But go ahead and finish up this because this is uh this is powerful. But we already so it's letting you know what Paul was doing. Mm -hmm. Talking to two groups, the circumcision, the Jew, and the Gentile that was in the church right. in Rome. Mm -hmm. Right? Two so audiences. Yeah, you got two audiences. Yes, sir. Correct. Yes, sir. Verse 24. Read verse 24 again. For the name of Elohim is blasphemed among the Gentiles through you, as it is written. For circumcision verily profiteth, if thou keep the law. <laughs> right. Mm. But if thou be a breaker of the law, thy circumcision is made uncircumcised. Right. Mm -hmm. Therefore, if the uncircumcision keep the righteousness of the law, shall not his uncircumcision be counted for circumcision? Right. He's keeping the spiritual part of the law. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He wasn't given the law. He's not held to the same standard you are. Right. But he's keeping, keeping the spirit. The law. Mm -hmm. He's keeping the law and he got that spirit of it. Right. That love. Mm -hmm. That understanding, that, that wisdom, mm -hmm. that mercy, mm -hmm. that faith. The yeah. weightier matters of the law. The weightier mm -hmm. matters of the law. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Verse 27. And shall not uncircumcision, which is by nature, if it fulfill the law, judge thee, Ooh. who by the letter in circumcision does transgress the law. Oh my goodness. For he is not a Jew, which is one outwardly, neither is that circumcision, which is outward of the flesh. Mm -hmm. But he is a Jew, which is one inwardly. And circumcision is that of the heart, mm -hmm. in the spirit, and not in the letter, whose praise is not of men. Let me read that again. Whose praise is not of men, mm -hmm. but of Elohim. <laughs> but some people, we have to repeat that, because some people yeah. want to be, that, well, that's their reward. Right. Right. You've been praised by men. Right. That's but all that's you not the reward that we look for. No, I'm not looking for that reward. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm looking for somebody to tell me, well done. Well done, faithful yep. servant. That's what I'm looking for, yes, too. Yeah, praise yeah. You know? praise and, 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 But this is letting you know right here. That, that we are a spiritual people. Israel is a spiritual people. And that Yahshua wants us, we have to, we got to let that, uh, we, 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 we got to circumcise our hearts. And Moshe said that, you know, I want your heart circumcised. Mm. You know, I prefer that. That means you can Thank look you. at things, you know, 
in that spiritual because in the flesh you're gonna you're gonna stumble and fall. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But but again, you see how deep this law, this word can go. Because we started talking about the wages of sin, mm -hmm. that's our title, and we were given the definition, mm -hmm. right? And and Brother Mick had laid it out. Uh, he who transit trans, I'm sorry, you read that, but it's uh, in verse four. In first John chapter three, verse four. Oh yeah, John. Go back and we went all the way to ten. Mm -hmm. Yes, and we got in this discussion uh, because Brother uh, El Uriah asked the question: well, What if you don't know the law? Right. Mm -hmm. So we had to go to the book and define it. And define it. And mm -hmm. Romans two laid that out. Mm -hmm. You know. Praise, yeah. mm -hmm. Praise. All right. So we're going to start at verse four. Yeah, just go ahead, go four and uh, wrap it up at ten. ten. Okay. First um, John chapter three verse four: Whosoever committed sin transgressing also the law, for sin is that is the transgressions of the law. And you know that he was manifested to take away our sins, and in him is no sin. That's Yahshua. Mm -hmm. Whosoever yeah. abided in him sinneth not. Whosoever mm -hmm. sinneth has not seen him, neither known him. Little children, let no man deceive you. He that doeth righteousness is righteous, even as he is righteous. He that committed sin, he that committed sin is of the devil. Okay. Mm -hmm. For the devil sinned from the beginning. For this purpose, the son of Elohim was manifested that he might destroy the works of the devil. And, and, and we know uh, what we just saw read in Genesis 2 mm -hmm. when we talked about death. With that, that death and that enmity mm -hmm. between the woman's seed mm -hmm. and Satan's seed. So Yahshua was prophesied from the very beginning. We That's discussed right. that. That's and right. here's Paul, I mean John, laying it out. This right. is why Yahshua was here. Right. Yeah. Destroy the works of the devil. And one of those works was death. And praise God. Yes, sir. Praise, praise God. Mm -hmm. um, what did I leave off at? Verse, oh, verse 9. Mm -hmm. First John chapter 3, verse 9. Whosoever is born of Elohim do not commit sin. Do not, let me read that. Whosoever is born of Elohim do not commit sin. For his seed remained in him, and he cannot sin because he is born of Elohim. Mm. In this, the children of Elohim are manifest, and the children of the devil. Whosoever doeth not righteousness is not of Elohim, neither he that loveth not his brother. Oh, mm. that's a good segue right mm. there. That's hey, if that's how that's you don't good. love Yahweh, you don't love Yahweh. Mm. If you, you if you don't, you're not trying to walk in the spirit, keep these commandments, walk in the spirit. But yes, you're going to stumble and bumble and not walk. Mm -hmm. But we know that we, we got a high priest now in the order of Melchizedek. Praise mm -hmm. yeah, come to man. and ask for forgiveness, Yahshua. That's yeah. right. You know, what we got to come to when we do. But we're going to break this law, but we're still in this body. Mm -hmm. It's not saying you're going to be perfect here. Don't yeah. take that literal. Because we are going to, you're going to stumble. Because you, you wouldn't need a high priest like Yahshua. Yeah, there's not one righteous. No, right. no, not one. In other word, in other word, if the body, you know, don't fail sometimes, mm -hmm. you know, committed sin, then... There wasn't any need for Yahweh in the, in the first place. Okay, we will be all be righteous, mm -hmm. person. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, no need for us to repent for our sin. Exactly. Yeah, and He didn't create us that way. He created created us for us to depend on Him. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's it. You can't. Yeah, he's that rock, man. You got. Yeah. You can't. If you if you're looking beyond, I don't care. You can't look to no man, no woman, no money, no nothing. You got to keep your eyes on Yahweh through His Son. All time. Sure, sure. At all time. Because everything else is gonna let you down. Yeah. That's right. It's gonna fail. It's gonna fail. It's a matter of time. Yeah. Now, when we, I said earlier, I'm gonna, I was gonna rephrase the title a little bit of the, uh, of the class. It's wages of, wages of sin, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So we now know what sin is. Mm -hmm. So we could say the wages of sin, is the wages of not keeping Yahweh's law, mm -hmm. is death. Mm -hmm. You know. You know, it's the same thing. So yeah. you're breaking. So no, we, we don't want to. It's make it simple that what we just read in First John was very simple. You transgress the law, you're you're in sin. Yeah. But so if you're in sin, you gotta have a covering. You mm -hmm. gotta have a covering. Right. So we know our fathers, you know, Adam and Eve were given a covering. Mm -hmm. And when Yahweh created the nation, and when they uh, Israel, they came out of Egypt, and they made that golden calf, right? Mm -hmm. That the nation has sinned, correct? That's right. But Yahweh had made a provision in Leviticus, and he put the, what the, the ordinance is. Mm -hmm. That's the law of that's the animal the sacrifices. That's the law. Right? So that's, that's what that's I the law. Up. 
That's, That's the what law. was added to the law. That was added to the law. Mm -hmm. So therefore, when is when you did sin, you got to come back to Yahweh. Yes. So you got to have a way to come back. That's right. And that those sin offerings, peace off, sin offerings, mm -hmm. etc. Peace off, sin off for the nation. And we'll get into all those things. Hopefully, if God will us go that far. But again, we want you to look at what we're going to say. You, you guys are in chapter four of Genesis. Yes, we are. Mm -hmm. We're in chapter four of Genesis. And so in, it's titled, entitled Wages of Sin. Mm -hmm. So we're going to start to see Adam and Eve, they've been cast out yes, sir. of the garden. They can't come back. Because mm -hmm. they, they come back, Elohim, there was a fear that they'll go ahead and reach out and take that fruit from the tree of life and live forever. Mm -hmm. And sin cannot be. Y'all was not going to allow that corruption to be in his creation forever. That's right. mm -hmm. He wasn't going to allow it. So mm -hmm. let's begin now mm -hmm. in uh, chapter four, and we're going to, I call it the family, <laughs> the family begins. Mm -hmm. And so, um, Elder, um, who wants to start in chapter four? Who wants to start it out with you? I'll, I'll, I'll pick it up, I'll take it to verse five. Okay. And Genesis. Uh, we'll pick up after that, Elder, uh, me, uh, brother, uh, Mick. Yes. Okay. Genesis chapter four, four, verse one. And Adam knew Eve, his wife. And she conceived and bare Cain and said, I have gotten a man from Yahweh. And she again bare his brother Abel, and Abel was a keeper of the sheep. But Cain was a tiller of the ground. And in process of time it came to pass that Cain brought of the fruit of the ground an offering unto Yahweh. And Abel he also brought of the firstlings of his flock. And of the fact thereof, and Yahweh had respect unto Abel and to his offering. But unto Cain, and to do his offering, and to his offering, he had not respect. And Cain was very wrong, and his countenance fell. So what we see here, brothers, who wants to begin the discussion about those first five verses here? Uh, we see an animal with the birth of Cain, mm. and Cain, the older brother. And, and then Abel is brought up in this context. You got Cain, you got Abel. So, what's going on? Let's talk about that. You see, I, I, I maybe don't want to jump. I just want to let's jump. Let's let's talk about the first five thing. verses. Let's, yeah. let's, let's go about that. Let's stick yeah. that. There's, there, there's a special thing that you should always use for covering, mm -hmm. and it's the blood. Okay. You see what I'm saying? So, in an Abel sacrifice, there's blood. Mm -hmm. you know, and then in, a, in Cain, there's no blood. There's no, there's no uh, animal. There's, there's no, no animal right, right there. And, and and it had to be something. It's a sacrifice. There, it's a sacrifice. So he didn't give a sacrifice. No. He right? didn't give the correct one. He didn't give the correct sacrifice. Yeah. Go ahead, brother. I want you. Go ahead. I'm going to cut you off. Mm -hmm. oh, go ahead. Well, go ahead. Continue. Um, you uh, verse 6. No, no. Would you, you, well, continue, would you continue to explain that? The, um, You know, looking back, you know, blood. That's why the Mishiach came. To shed his blood. Because right. without, there's no blood. There's no remission of sin. There's no remission of so sin. This shedding of uh, this uh, blood, and we, we, we let's say it was a sin offering, mm -hmm. or what it may have been, uh, but it was, uh, it, was it, it was a sacrifice. So a sacrifice got to be something that's valuable to you. Yes. Right? Really you sacrifice valuable. something, mm -hmm. it accomplish your goals. That means well, you, know, you might get less sleep. You're sacrificing your sleep. All those things when you're trying to get something that's important, right? And Yahweh wants something that's important to you when you're making a sacrifice. So it says in verse four, look at that nuance. And Abel um, also brought of mm. the firstlings mm -hmm. of the flock. He brought mm. the first, yeah, the ten percent, the first, mm. right? He brought that ten percent, the first He bringing yeah. that out, yeah. So you know, so he he's doing it right, like Obi said, he's doing mm -hmm. the proper uh, offering and. But now we got we got Cain bringing meat on uh, fruit and vegetable. Um, but so some would dispute that 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 um, like now Cain is bringing an offering, but he didn't bring the correct offering. Correct. But it still was a he still had to put labor in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, yeah, he, he worked. worked his hardest and, and right. what have you. But it, that's not what was acceptable. No, yeah, you got to do like you said. You, uh, wanna, you come how he will accept you. You're gonna you come, come as you want. Exactly. <laughs> and you know, and I think that's the. Um, I think that's what we got to look at. When we set boundaries and standards for our children, mm -hmm. we don't want them. And we, when we set these standards, we're not going to set them so high 
that they're, you're going to set them up to fail, are we? Mm. Are you going to set your daughter and son up to fail mm. by the rules you put in the house and your guidelines? If they fail, you fail. Right. So you're going to set achievable things. Mm -hmm. Right? Achievable. Do this. It's not going to do you any. Now, if you went above and beyond, praise hey, up. praise up. You know. But if you mm -hmm. met what you're supposed to do, mm -hmm. hey, come on, boy. Yeah, your daddy loves you. Come here, girl. You know your daddy loves you. Mm -hmm. Now you, 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 you know she's learning something. Right. He's learning something. And so here is Adam's son, uh, right? Now, how, why, how, why were they giving animal sacrifice? That's the question I want to go before we go past verse 5. Why, how, why, why were Adam, Cain, and Abel um, bringing offerings before Yahweh? Mm -hmm. I'm going to start to my right. Brother uh, Mick, you want to address that? Well, um, how? Yeah, why? How? Well, well, we we can see um, they 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 they. What what I grasp from here is um, there's two sons, they're brothers. Now one like one of them did what they were supposed to do, but one of them didn't. But okay. they both were told by Adam. We there we so, go. There we go. Like Ad, well, we won't put on Adam. That, no, he was taught. Adam and wife is yeah. one, they, so right, we right, don't know how. Right. But yeah, I, I can see. Taught. Yeah, I, I can see from um. Chapter three, verse twenty-one. Yeah, Adam, because that was the first sacrifice. Yeah. There so, go. so Adam taught them, "Hey, this is how you do it." Right. But one of the sons obviously kind of dropped the ball, or what that you know. So that's by implication. Something's going on with mm. Cain. Cain yeah. got something going on with. It. Now the scriptures don't talk about it. Talk about it. But yeah. we can look by implication, inference. Yes. Cain got something going on with him. He's just rebelling. You know, there's something he can't. This can't be the first time. Mm. I can't believe this will be the first time mm. they gave an offering unto Yahweh. Mm. You know, we're gonna right. touch on this as we get. Bro. I want to get first. I want to get ahead of myself. Okay. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. So notice verse one. Adam. It says Adam knew his wife. They knew Eve, his wife, and she conceived and bare Cain. Cain mm. right. and said, "I have gotten a man from Yahweh." Mm. Okay, I think I think I think I see where you're going with that. Yeah. I she, think I'm gonna make a note of that. Man, man. I got a man from that. Yeah. But if you want to talk about it, we can go right now. That's interesting. Before we, before we split okay, okay. okay. you're holding a couple things back. Yeah. You got well, I tell you what. I tell you what. Okay. If, if we jump down to verse 25, okay, mm -hmm. just not to get it. Okay, all okay. right. We'll do that. If we if we can, the reason why I said that, and this goes back to what we were talking about in chapter three. Mm -hmm. I said we just split with that head note. Okay, okay, let's do it. Verse 25 said, and Adam knew his wife again. And she bare a son and called his name Seth. For Elohim said she has appointed me another seed instead of Abel, whom Cain slew. Okay. See, so when, when Cain when Cain was born, she said, Well, I've gotten me a man from Yahweh. Right. Now but come now, on now. When, when, Abel, when Seth came, she said, I've gotten another seed, seed. instead of Abel, whom you got Cain slew. There was something mm -hmm. you see. Now mm -hmm. we go back to chapter three and he said, I'm gonna put enmity between your seed. And this is, so, so, so we see these, this, these two seeds. Right. Something is awful. Something, something that is. Praise we shot. Had we had I know. I think it's going to hit it. Praise God. Thank you. Because that's what's going on. Mm. Now we're going to see this this thing about Cain. He made you know a man, and mm. and that and that inference. You know, some some biblical scholars in Christianity talk about that Cain is. Uh, like in my book here, they got here um, in a footnote mm. in my book, uh, my Bible it says. Cain, his name acquisition, is a type of the mere man mm. of the earth. Mm. His religion was destitute of any adequate sense of sin or need of atonement. This religious type is described and in, said, in, you know, that's what the Christian thing, but uh, but again, mm. he was that man. He's that almost that brute, brute beast type of mindset. Right. I, you know, why wouldn't you bring the right? I don't need to have no atonement. For we know. Mm. What do I need to bring? Mm -hmm. the, the, something valuable to me. Mm -hmm. but look at the footnote that they give just in, uh, in, in if you drop down to the next footnote of mm -hmm. Abel. Okay. It says Abel is a type of spiritual man. There you go. So there's, there's, that, they're, that, they're acknowledging there's some type of difference. Right. The two of them. And but I'm so glad you brought that out. Continue what it says. His sacrifice is what? It says uh, his sacrifice in which atoning blood was shed was therefore at once his confession of sin and the expression of his faith in mm -hmm. the in Interposition of a substance. So he was. This was. We're looking at this. This was a sin offering. That spiritual man, uh, Abel, knew mm -hmm. he had to bring this first, first thing, right, mm -hmm. to sacrifice it 
before Yahweh. Mm -hmm. he's, he's of the spiritual mind. Right. Then you got, so that's that duality. Mm -hmm. brother, you, I love how you broke that down. Right. Going back to that enmity between the woman seed and, mm -hmm. and Satan and, 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 and the serpent seed. Mm -hmm. and, and we're seeing that this, this prototype of Cain, he's going to proliferate in the earth, mm -hmm. that mindset. Yes, sir. You know, up until we get to another part of the book. Mm -hmm. And so praise y'all. So God. you want to keep on uh, reading to keep on reading to um let me see, let's let's go to um, let's go to continue with verse uh, 10. Let's keep reading. We'll keep reading. We good. Keep on reading, brother. I don't want to cut that off, but that sounds very it's a lot of information. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, Elia. Uh, you're right. So. Uh, verse 10. Um, Genesis chapter 4, verse 10. And he said, What of. No, 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 verse 6. Verse 6. Oh, verse 6. Yeah, oh, okay. okay. Genesis 4. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you want me to skip? No, 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 no. I said, I'll okay. okay. read it up. Uh, no, don't skip. I'm sorry about that. Verse 10. Genesis no, chapter no, 4. No, verse 6. Verse 6. And Yahweh said unto Cain, mm -hmm. Why art thou wrong? And why is thy continent, continent, uh, continent fallen? If thou doest well, shall thou not be accepted? And if thou dwell not well, sin lieth at the door. And unto thee shall be his desire, and thou shalt rule over him. Okay. And Cain talked with Abel his brother, and it came to pass, when they were in the field, that Cain rose up against Abel his brother and slew him. And Yahweh said unto Cain, where is Abel thy brother? And he said, I know not. Am I my brother's keeper? And uh, right there, you're going to look, sometime in the future, we're going to be on a podcast discussion yeah. on this very title. Mm, of uh, it's, am I my brother's keeper? Yeah. Right, my brother? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so that's yeah, coming. Well. So if y'all keep keep that in mind, we're going to be doing a uh, unstructured structure. Unstructured yeah. structure, and we're going to be discussing, just having a conversation. Mm -hmm. But again, that's a powerful statement. Mm -hmm. Am I my brother's keeper? Mm. Uh, but continue reading. But I have to just interject that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Today, oh, it's, it's here. It's today. Yes, sir. It's, it's, it's everywhere. Mm. Verse 10. And he said, What what hast thou done? The voice of thy brother's blood cried unto me from the ground. Mm. And now art thou cursed from the earth, which had opened our mouth to receive thy brother's blood from thy hand. And when... Thou tillest the ground, it shall not henceforth yield unto thee her strength. A fugitive and a vagabond shall thou be in the earth. And Cain said unto Yahweh, My punishment is greater than I can bear. Mm. Behold, thou hast driven me out, out this day from the face of the earth, and from thy face shall I be hid. And I shall be a fugitive and a vagabond in the earth. And it shall come to pass that every one that findeth me shall slay me. And Yahweh said unto him, Therefore, whosoever slayeth Cain, vengeance shall be taken on him seven folds. And Yahweh set a mark upon Cain, lest any finding him should kill him. Verse 16. And Cain went from the presence of Yahweh and dwelt in the land of Nod and the east side of Eden. And Cain knew his wife, and Cain knew his wife, he, I mean, knew his wife, and she conceived and bare Enoch, and he built a city, and called the name of the city after the name of his son Enoch. Mm. Man, okay. I'm telling you. Okay, so let's pause right there. Yeah. Uh, so now, so we see uh, the, the first murder mm -hmm. that's recorded. Mm -hmm. And we know that that's, uh, that's that. And we know that what's wrong with that brother because Satan was in him. That Satan had got hold of him. That's, mm -hmm. right. that's what was wrong with him. That's mm -hmm. right. He was that he was fleshly, mm -hmm. and that spirit was on him. Because we know that Yahshua tells us that Yah Satan was a what. And we'll go there if I, if I can find it. A liar, a liar, and murder from the beginning. We read, we read, we read, we read that in John. Yeah, we yeah, just read it. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Okay, so we, we didn't read that, did we? That Satan was a murderer from they the beginning? No, oh, no, oh, no, 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 like, yeah, like, yeah, by John 8, 44, no, 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 read that, though, read that go, go to it, mm -hmm. because this shows you uh, who Yahshua is, what he is, he's already, he's breaking mm -hmm. things down, and, mm -hmm. uh, 
John chapter 8, verse 44. We'll give our viewers some time to get down. And you want to read a couple of verses out just to get okay. context. All right. Feel uh -huh. free. And that's John 4, 8, right? Yeah. What, what chapter of John? Um, John chapter 8, verse um, 45. I'm trying to see where I want to pick it up. Uh, I'm picking up 39. Okay. Okay. John chapter 8, verse 39. They answered and said unto him, Go back to 38. Okay. 38, okay. Yeah. John chapter 8, verse 38. I speak that which I have seen with my father, and you do that which you have seen with your father. Uh -oh. They answered and said unto him, Abraham is our father. Yahshua said unto them, if you were Abraham's children, you would do the works of Abraham. Mm. But now you seek to kill me, a man that hath told you the truth, mm. which I have heard of Elohim. This did not Abraham. You do the deeds of your father. Then said them to him, we be not born of fornication. We have one father, even Yahweh. Yahshua said unto them, if Elohim, if Yahweh were your father, you would love me. For I proceeded forth and came from Elohim. Mm -hmm. Neither came I of myself, but he sent me. Mm -hmm. Why do you not understand my speech? Even because you cannot hear my word. Mm. You are of your father, the devil. Oh. And the lust of your father you will do. He was a murderer from the beginning mm -hmm. and abode not in the truth. Because there is no truth in him. Mm -hmm. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own. For he is a liar and the father of it. Mm. Come on, brother. And because I tell you the truth, you believe me not. Which of you convinces me? <clears throat> excuse me. Verse 46. Which of you convinces me of sin? And if I say the truth, why do you not believe me? He that is of Elohim, hear Elohim words. Mm -hmm. You therefore hear them not because you are not of Elohim. See, he mm -hmm. just called them out. <clears throat> she said, you are the, the, the devil. Is your father. Mm. So we know now, brother, that that's that's deep. Mm. Well, Yahshua said, uh, what, what, in verse what, 44, he says, he was a murderer. He said, you're going to do the lust of your father, mm -hmm. the devil, and the lust of your father you will do. He, is, he was a murderer from the beginning, check, and and, and bold not in it. He didn't stay in his first estate. He didn't mm -hmm. want to stay in the truth, mm -hmm. right? Because there is no truth in him. Mm -hmm. There is no light in him. Mm -hmm. That's, it. That's it, right? That's mm -hmm. it. No light in him. When he speaks a lie, he speaks his own, for he is a liar and the father of it. So we just went through Genesis 1, 2, and 3. We see the first lie he pushed on uh, on Eve, right? Mm -hmm. Pushed that lie on Eve. You ain't gonna shoot a die, you're gonna be like God. Right. You know the difference between good and evil. Mm -hmm. And now we see what was wrong with Cain. We just told that he broke it down, but what was wrong with it? That was Satan. Mm -hmm. He was a lust, he was a flesh, he was a he was a, he was a Satan seed. Mm -hmm. That's what he was up. And that's what he did. He carried out that lust. Right. Sat there and killed his brother. Yeah, and his name was arrogant. Right? He, he, he my didn't, brother, yeah, my my brother, brother mm. didn't, didn't ask for forgiveness. Mm -hmm. He just no. said, my punishment is greater than I can bear. Mm. Something to that effect. But right? so, uh, that's, that, that kind of reminds me of uh, Esau. Is he, is he cried, but he saw. He said he saw it, though he saw it carefully right. with tears, but he right. didn't see no space for repentance. Right. And now he's in need for okay. He wasn't going to let him go. Yeah. And, and so now, we, we, we see in this See how this book is together? Praise God. I love the story. See how this book lays out? Right. This, this is one narrative, one Absolutely. love story, you know, uh, and his, 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 his people mm -hmm. and his creation. He loved, you know, he loves his creation. Mm -hmm. It was perfect, but he had to go and get that was out of it. Mm -hmm. You know, it's something else when um, we were we read in verse um, uh, 7, 10. Okay. Right? Okay. Uh, some people question whether or not Adam and Eve had blood. Right, 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 right. You know, but they had children. Come Correct. Were able to procreate. Correct. But then, uh, uh, in addition to that, he said, uh, uh, verse 9, he says, uh, well, verse 10, he said, and he said, What hast thou done? The voice of thy brother's blood cries unto me from the ground. Mm. So, you know, the child that came from him had to. Right. You know, oh, in order for them to be able to procreate, they right. had to. You hear so many. Yeah, but you hear so many different things because when you read this, they're going to talk about two creations. Right. This is a perfect. How could uh, uh, they create, uh, populate the earth when uh, who was his wife? Who was who was Cain's wife? Right. And and uh, go ahead. I, 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 I'm going to jump in. I, I get you. Go ahead and get the floor. No, 
no, no, go ahead, man. No, 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 I'm not going to no, do no. that. No, no, I'll be mentioned something very important. And that's what we learn from science. You know, we need the blood. But what is the blood for? Mm. The blood is pretty much the carrier of oxygen that the body needs. It's life. It's life. Mm. You see what I'm saying? Right. To break it down. Right. 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 You know, I mean, yeah. I was talking to a brother. We got a, a book here. Mm. Um, you know, I've been reading. I was talking to brother Obi about it. It's called The uh, Journey of Man, um, uh, uh, A Genetic Odyssey. Mm -hmm. See, you, Yahweh is giving man an opportunity to, to learn about himself, mm. what, how his body operates. That's Yahweh giving you wisdom. Mm. And then you're yeah. over here talking about, I don't believe in this, but you're going to run straight to the hospital That's right. and seek out those men and women trained to save your life. Mm. If that's the case, then when you get sick, you just die. Stay in your house and die. Face the east and yeah. die. And die. <laughs> And then Yah Yahweh, then we'll know. Yahweh spoke, it will go back to superstition. Like yeah. this Yahweh wasn't for him. Mm. He died. It was Yahweh. It was Yahweh's business. Yeah. So you can't you get, call 911. He's got to face the east and start praying. Well, you know what? But then again, but you know, but science has proven Yahweh has given us this. This is of Yahweh. Mm. You know, to preserve you. Right. Yahweh is not like man. He's not like man. You said my thoughts. Can you imagine? Thought. Yeah. If he was like, man, we will, we will figure we'll it out. We'll we'll figure him out. I mean, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll be mess all this whole thing up. <laughs> 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 it's really tough. It's really gone. But again, the journey of man. This is a book. Again, genetic odyssey. He's a global geneticist. Uh, but even even they talk about uh, a man, a one, the first woman, the Eve theorist. Mm. You know, that there was one man and one woman, and that we come out. Humanity comes out of this lineage mm. of that of that. Now, you may not buy everything, but don't be, you can't be totally foolish. Mm. You, you have to know how to read something mm -hmm. and vet it. Yep. Some of us, we'll see a video on YouTube or mm -hmm. something, and we'll run and say, that's the gospel. Mm. But we haven't read the literature. Mm -hmm. We haven't read the literature on the topic, right? Yeah. Well, the Yahoo used to tell us all the time. He'd say, uh, be careful how you hear what you hear. Damn. Wow. Come on now. Because if you hear something from somewhere else, they got a different agenda. You ain't seen that person. Mm. You can't talk to them about what they wrote, where they get their research from. Mm. Yeah. But you come to everybody else and say, oh, this was on. You can have a maniac on the other line mm. uh, on that video. Mm -hmm. oh, that's, right. that's what you're going to believe. Mm. And then the person that's learning tells you, Oh, I don't believe you. <clears throat> so well, you don't have to believe, but uh, but that's that's what we see here. But let's. I want to. While we're in chapter four, let, let's look at chapter uh, verse seven. Mm -hmm. I want to. Uh, this. Uh, uh, Obi, would you read verse seven for me? Yes, sir. It says, "And if thou doest well, shall thou not be accepted?" He's talking to Cain, right? Mm -hmm. Y'all, yes, talking to Cain, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Because his confidence failed, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And if thou doest not well, sin lieth at the door, and unto thee shall be his desire, and thou shalt rule over him. Mm. Well, mm -hmm. hmm. who want to talk about that? Well, I think that's, it's, if you read that, you just keep on reading. You can't skim mm. past that. Can't skim past that, can you? Well, can't skim past well, the way I read it, I mean, I have notes here. But um, basically, if, we, if you bring me the right sacrifice, won't I accept it? Yeah, that's right. He gave him an out. Yeah. And even if you don't, that sacrifice lied at the door. It makes it simple. But yeah, yeah, yeah. He was different. Something yeah, was wrong yeah. with him. But sin. So the sin offering lied at the door. Well, well right. not only is yeah, sin you take it yeah, that sin way. That's one way of taking it. That's one way of taking it. You take it another way where, hey, Yahweh gave an opportunity to repent yes. versus a yes. go mm. and get the right sacrifice. Mm. Right. But if you refuse to do it, that sin. It's right Wait, there. Right up, come take you out. Like you said, you don't open the door. Yeah. You said that earlier. Yeah. Adam opened the door. Yeah. It's open. Yeah. So that's a spiritual thing mm -hmm. that in that flesh of man, mm -hmm. right? So, you know, so but again, Yahweh is mercy. That's another example yeah. of mercy. Mercy. Hey man, I got you all right. You 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 you, you ain't do right. <laughs> Just go do the right thing. You know, you know you're supposed to draw the, an animal. Yeah, you know you're supposed yeah. to draw something yeah. of value mm -hmm. uh, to me. But but that reminds me of uh, another brother going through that flesh, but that spirit, that sin is there, mm -hmm. right? And, and and he tells us that we we got we, we're dealing with uh, 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 that sin is something is it, the inner man versus sin, 
Um, so, if, if brother, let's just look at it. Uh, we go to Romans 6, and we want to see that illustration. We go to uh, got, uh, Romans, um, right? In the, in the, in the so-called New Testament, mm. we want to go there. And, um, and let me see, uh, Brother Mick, Kyle, I guess, I'm trying to make sure we make everybody keeping up with this. Uh, but we're going to continue to... Uh, If you uh, you want to, if you read uh, oh we can read that right okay. okay okay want to make sure we are where we need to be uh, but this is something uh, let me find it for some reason I can't find it for me Romans chapter six and let's look at I'm trying to go past Acts six and let's uh, we, we approach we got twenty four minutes we all with time is flying mm -hmm. and uh, go go to Romans six. And let's read, um, let's split that up. Uh, uh, Mick, would you do, uh, take it to uh, uh, chapter, uh, Romans 6, 1 through 10. 1 through 10, okay. And then, um, um, Obi, you take it from 11. Okay. Yes, sir. Uh, Romans chapter 6, verse 1. Mm -hmm. What shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? Mm -hmm. Elohim forbid. How shall we that are dead to sin live any longer therein. Mm. Know you not that so many of us as were baptized into Yahshua HaMashiach were baptized into his death. Praise mm. Therefore we are buried with him by baptism unto death, mm. into death, that like as Christ was raised up from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so we also should walk in newness of life. Mm. For, if we've been, for if we have been planted together in the likeness of his death, we shall be also in the likeness of his resurrection. Mm -hmm. Knowing this, that our old man is crucified with him, that the body of sin might be destroyed, mm -hmm. that henceforth we should not serve sin. There you go. For he... Okay, hold on. Just, just, say it. Hold just, just referencing what we were reading in, uh, in, in Genesis. Exactly. About, about his son. Right. Mm -hmm. Abel, uh, Cain and Abel. Right. That's that old man. Cain, Cain is that representation? Mm -hmm. Representation. That old man. The old man. So we got to put away that old man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And it's not talking about uh, your age. That's all that. He's right. You can take it, bro. All right. Um, Romans chapter 6, verse 7. Mm -hmm. For he that is dead is freed from sin. Oh. Now, if we be dead with the Mashiach, we believe that we shall also live with him. See, and that's mm -hmm. why it makes sense. In First John three was like we cannot commit sin. Mm -hmm. That's what it means. If you're you, you know, you're born again, doesn't commit sin. sin. Right. It don't mean you're gonna be perfect. But we're dead in the Mashiach. Mm -hmm. That old man. Mm -hmm. That's that seed. That that's the seed. In it's in us. Yes. Go ahead, brother. A Pray. new generation. Praise mm -hmm. God. Okay, let me let me start the verse. Eight. Okay. Well, I'm gonna stop out here first. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, no, no. Praise God. Good. Let, let, shoot, man. No, no, him is spirit. Let, that's right. All right, verse 8. Now, if we be dead with the Mashiach, we believe that we shall also live with him. Knowing that the Mashiach, being raised from the dead, dieth no more, death have no more dominion over him. Mm -hmm. For in that he died, he died unto sin once, but in that he liveth, he liveth unto Elohim. Mm -hmm. Likewise, oh, verse 11. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Verse 11. Likewise, reckon you also yourselves to be dead indeed unto sin, but alive unto Elohim through Yahshua HaMashiach our Adonai. Let not sin therefore reign in your mortal body, that you should obey it in the lust thereof. Mm. Neither yield you your members as instruments of unrighteousness unto sin, but yield yourselves unto Elohim as those that are alive from the dead, and your members as instruments of righteousness unto Elohim. For sin shall not have dominion over you, for you are not under the law, but under grace. Mm. So, um, so we're not under the law. <laughs> See, the, the Christians say, that's it. We ain't got to do nothing, y'all always say. Let's stop right there. Drop yeah. the book, drop the mic, this go. Yeah. Drop the mic. No, they're saying you're not under the ordinances of the animal sacrifices mm -hmm. anymore mm -hmm. to cover your Great. sins. Because yeah. Yahshua is your covering once and for all, that perfect sacrifice for the remission of sins. Mm -hmm. So Yahshua is the perfect sacrifice that Lamb of Elohim. So doesn't it go that that's why we're not doing animal sacrifices today? Mm -hmm. Because Yahshua was the sacrifice. Mm -hmm. If Yahshua didn't come, we'd be doing sacrifices right now. Of course. So that's what the law they're talking about. That's what the Ten Commandments, people. 
Yeah, because even 14 is singular. It said the law. The law. It doesn't say laws. It says the law. So what law singular is it referring to? That's right. That's that ordinance added. That was, that was added to the law. Uh, you, you, you see, my elder, what most people don't realize, that law is broken into three different sections. Mm -hmm. But each section, they still call it the law. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So they more or less thought they was thought when they said, "Oh, the law." You think they're talking about the entire law? Mm -hmm. No, they're not. They're just talking about the animal sacrifice of the law. Crazy, crazy. And say, if you don't get in this book, mm -hmm. you can't understand the gospels or the letters. Mm -hmm. But continue. Where, where were you? Uh, we were at verse uh, 15. fourteen. Yeah. Fifteen. Fifteen. Okay. okay. Verse 15, what then? Shall we sin because we are not under the law, but under grace? Elohim forbid. Know you not that to whom you yield yourself servants to obey, his servants you are to whom you obey, whether of sin unto death or of obedience unto righteousness. Mm. That's a heavy, that's a heavy. Verse. Mm -hmm. verse, man. verse 17. You know that Satan, if you're dealing with sin, you're serving the same. Mm -hmm. We just read it, right? Because yeah. Yahshua laid it out. Mm -hmm. so a servant is a slave. That's right. Right. So you, say you give your servant a, a slave to obey. His slaves you are to whom you obey. So <laughs> you know, so you, you, the lust of the father, your mm -hmm. father, Satan. You're, you're going to do. You, right. you will do. That's right. Mm -hmm. Verse 17. But Elohim be thanked that you were the servants of sin, but, but you have obeyed from the heart that form of doctrine which was delivered you. Being then made free from sin, you became the servants of righteousness. Praise yeah. Praise yeah. I speak after the manner of men because of the infirmity of your flesh. For as you have yielded your members servants to uncleanness and to iniquity unto iniquity, even so now yield, you, yield your members servants to righteousness unto holiness. For when you were the servants of sin, you were free from righteousness. What fruit have you then in mm. these things whereof you are now ashamed? That's right. We don't want to talk about that. Mm. You're ashamed of that lifestyle. Yeah. Right. You want to put it behind you. That's that old man. That's right. Mm. For the end of those things, for, for the end of those things is death. Uh oh. Mm. But now being made free from sin and become servants to Elohim, you have your fruit unto holiness Hallelujah. and the end everlasting life. Great for job. the wages mm. of sin is death. But the gift of Yah is eternal life. Through Yahshua HaMashiach, our enemy. Uh, yeah. you know, and, yeah. and that's and that's the that's the thing when we look at uh we go back looking at this from the very beginning. That when the sin entered the earth and and that's in. So that sin, that was an opening, right? Yeah. And uh and, and so he got on Cain mm -hmm. and, and Cain um even when the, even sometimes we get we get hard hearted. You got something else in you. You got you got Satan. You listen to that other you listen to that other spirit. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm gonna go spirit, a spirit. A spirit. A spirit. A spirit. And nobody can't spirit. tell you nothing now. And, that, and that's <laughs> now, I know that. Let's just be real. When you get that spirit on you, you think you're doing right, mm. and nobody can't tell you nothing. Yahweh couldn't even tell his brother. And the spirit is talking to him. That, right. that angel, we know it's not Yahweh. Mm -hmm. yeah. We know that's the angel. Yeah. But let's just be keep it simple. Right. Yeah. But again, in treating him with love, he still brooding and went and talked to his brother mm -hmm. at some point and murdered him. Mm -hmm. but, but again, but you see how um, that, that again, if we, if you if you pursue in the lifestyle of the world that we're living in right now, mm -hmm. does it make it, if you, if, if you can, you can say, well, you don't have to beat you up with the Bible. You can say what, but let me tell you, if you continue down that broad path, play, 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 play. you go down that broad path, mm -hmm. You're gonna get what you deserve. Yeah, you may have a good time mm -hmm. doing what the world tells you to do. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, you know that's, that's all about love. See, we we're about love, but love with structure. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Crazy. Yeah. Don't get it twisted. Don't get it would twisted. you say love without structure is lust? Yeah, because that, that it's rebellion, it's chaos. Yeah. It's it's it's, 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 it's no it's like you said it's no um, in my opinion without this light. That, you know, you're you're just living. You're nothing. You're, you're miserable. Dead. Yeah, you're miserable. You're a dead man, a woman walking. Mm -hmm. yeah, so you, that, that defines our purpose. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Because of the house of life. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. That's that, that that's wrapped up in our mission. What it is that we're trying to do? It's it's, it's not our life. It's Yahshua's. It's Yahshua's life. He's like we're trying to hold on. Yeah, exactly. Right. And, and, and I ain't got nothing. Ain't got nothing. We're exactly. keepers of it. Yeah. Yeah. We're mm-hmm. trying to do it. Right, that's what keepers we're doing. of it. That's what it is. But in Yahweh is going. If we don't do it, there'll be some other brothers sitting here doing it. That's right. And that's we right. don't want to get too bold thinking that we. Well, we all Yahweh are. don't need you. No. Yeah. No. He said yeah. he could raise up. Oh, uh, stone! Don't get, don't get, don't get crazy. Don't get don't twisted. Get what do you think that Yahweh can't? He can get some if Yahweh chooses. He get the the people that some of us mock people out here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, he'll clean them up. That's right. Mm-hmm. And you'll be seeing them. Well, wasn't you the woman I was talking about, the man? Right. And he look at you and say, mm-hmm. yeah. I'm, yeah, he said, "I'm here doing your eyes with." Mm-hmm. Be careful when you're talking about somebody that's Yahweh's servant. And then like uh, the, the, the the when Yahshua healed the man that was. Uh, he was, was a man's son, and he was in the graves. Mm. And then uh, crazy you know, one, he was crazy. crazy you know? Right, but then they found him sitting down in a good mind. In a good mind, they, they were shocked. <laughs> 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 you know, <laughs> and so when when y'all get a chance, the next chapter is talking about. I think uh, Paul in in Romans seven, Paul is talking about that 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 those two laws that stresses these on. Mm-hmm. You know, um, verse. Let's let's go there. Uh, we're gonna go to yeah. yeah, let's go there for a minute. Uh, Romans seven, mm-hmm. and we're gonna show you that conflict, that duality, mm-hmm. right? That 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 we see going on with with Cain. You know, mm-hmm. uh, we just talked about it. you can do, but what is this sin that got hold of him? So sin is something. Is you know, it's a, the devil. Yeah, plan one. Yeah, you know, let's let uh, um, where you want me to pick it up? Uh, uh, Romans seven, go to fifteen. Oh, Romans oh. Chapter, oh, 1 through 15? Yeah, no, no 15. 15, but Romans chapter 7, mm-hmm. beginning 15. at verse, uh, hold on, uh, yeah, verse 12. Beginning at verse 12 and read yeah. up to where? Because he's, but, and I'll give you a background, Paul is talking about this sin, you know, that he's, he and all of us have this struggle, mm. you know, the things we should do, every day struggle. Mm-hmm. We, we don't do the mm-hmm. things that we shouldn't do, we end up doing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, so he's laying that out. So there's nothing new under the sun because we all have, we all are under this sinful situation. Mm-hmm. Sinful nature. It's sinful nature. Yeah. Okay. But we just yeah, go Romans 12 and that's just the backdrop. Romans 7 verse 12. Romans chapter 7 verse 12. Word for the law is holy and the commandments holy mm-hmm. and just and good. Was then that which is good made death unto me? Elohim forbid. Not the animal sacrifice. It was meant to be Death, but it was a covering mm-hmm. for the time to come, right? That's right. That's right. But sin that it may appear sin, right? Work, working death in me by that which is good, that sin by the commandment might become exceeding sinful. That's mm-hmm. right. For we know that the law is spiritual, but I am a carnal, sold under sin. I'm carnal, okay. I, oh, what did I say? I am, I am, but I am carnal. Oh, okay. yeah. But I am carnal, sold under sin. For that which I do, I allow not. For what I would, that do I not. But what I hate, that I do. Mm. If then I do that which I would not, I consent unto the law that is good. Mm. Now then, it is no more I that do it, but sin that dwelleth in Ah. me. For I know that in me, that is in my flesh, dwelleth no good thing. For to, to will is present with me. But how to perform that which is good, I find not. For the good that I would, I do not. But the evil which I would not, that I do. Now, if I do that I would not, it is no more that I that do it, but sin that dwelleth in me. Mm-hmm. I find then a law that when I would do good, evil is present right. with me. Right. For I delight in the law of Elohim right. after the inward man. Mm-hmm. But I see another law in my members, warning against the law of my mind and bringing me into captivity. To the law of sin, which is in my members. Mm. O wretched man that I am, who shall deliver me from the body of this death? I thank it. I thank Yahweh through Yahshua Hamashiach, our Adonai. So then, with the mind, I myself serve the law of Elohim, but with the flesh, the law of sin. Mm. Mm. So that and that's what that what Satan does. Yeah. He's gonna come at you in that lust. Everything in you. Mm. Yeah. Kill your brother. Yeah. Who do you think he is? Mm. You know, I'm going to take him out. Mm. I'm going to take my brother out. You're going to murder him. You know, and so that's when we go back. But you see how far our survey into 
uh, just going into Genesis chapter 4. And, um, and where we were in 4, I think, uh, you, were, you were reading that, right? Yeah, we we'll stopped uh, at um, verse 17. In verse 17, let me see where we, and we're approaching, we're in the 10 minute mark right now. Uh, and you said, and here, we're, we're going to probably um, just pause right, uh, yeah. right there. Read 17 again, please. We're in the book of Genesis chapter 4, verse 17. And Cain knew his wife, and she conceived, and bare Enoch. And he built a city, and called the name of the city after the name of his son, Enoch. Okay, so what we're not going to, I think what we're going to do, we're going to pause we're going to stop right there. Mm -hmm. And again, and we're going to kind of wrap up today's class, um, which was entitled The Wages of Sin. Mm -hmm. And uh, we were involved in uh, discussing chapter four, the, uh, the signs of Adam and Eve, mm -hmm. Cain and Abel. And I think we covered a lot of ground oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. with that uh, discussion. And so, and then we'll prepare... For y'all willing for our next Sabbath service, we'll continue to uh, go uh, and discuss wages of sin. I think we're going to push it a little further yeah. uh, because we're going to see that wages of sin, we know it's death, but the, the earth is just getting, you know, it's been populated right, mm -hmm. here, right? So with that, I'm just going to uh, say, again, thank you guys for everyone for tuning in and uh, for this Sabbath class uh, and, and, and our discussion. And so... We're going to take these uh, few minutes to kind of just let the brothers talk a little bit about um, um, some things on your mind uh, regarding what we discussed, mm -hmm. and um, and I'm going to just open it up um, and go whoever wants to start. And, uh, want to do anything you wanted to just clarify or discuss, um, you know, based on this uh, this class. But the services, the class is over. We're just in the discussion phase now. But anything you want to talk about? You know, I know, I know all my elder, you know, I just want to say the law, let me put it that way, is very important. Not only for you to know the law, but to practice the law, you know, um, you know, to walk in it. Mm -hmm. you know, not because, you know, the most I want us all to be righteous, but it should be a part of our daily walk, you know, yeah. every day. Praise you God. You know, to shine this light, you know, mm -hmm. for people to see. You know, uh, what Yahweh's law is all about. That's what we are for, to shine that light. Shine that light, praise Yah, because uh, without that light, Yahshua is that light. He, yeah. But Yahweh made provision from the creation of the earth mm -hmm. so that we could be here today. Praise Yah. Mm -hmm. You know, that we could be able to bear witness that that Yahshua is our Redeemer, that He is the Son of Elohim. Yeah. And, and, and He's the Messiah. You know, just land back in on what my other brother said in the Uriah verse um, in, in Romans 2 when we read. Mm -hmm. um, this is all I have. Uh, verses 28 and 29. Mm -hmm. okay. it, just, it just ties it up like, 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 like the law mm -hmm. and, and, and being doers of the law. It's Romans 2, 28, 29? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. It says, for he, for he is not a Jew, which is one outwardly, neither is that circumcision, which is outward in the flesh. But he is a Jew, which is one inwardly, and circumcision is that of the heart in the spirit and not in the letter, whose praise is not of men, but of the Lord. Praise God. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, yeah, we gotta walk, we can't just be hearers of this word, we gotta be doers of it. We gotta be doers of it. And that's when you are, and that's when you are Jew. That's mm. when you're uh, 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 in the, in following the Mashiach, because they're gonna see that spirit, they're gonna see that light, your light's gonna shine. That's mm -hmm. right. That's right. Yes, sir. You know, we're not perfect. Mm. It's not about perfection, mm. it's about that light, it's about talking about. Telling them who is perfect mm -hmm. and who is able to redeem you. I can't redeem you. Mm -hmm. I, cu I couldn't. I'm, I couldn't die for you. Now, you know, one of us. Nobody. Mm -hmm. none of, no man. Mm -hmm. That's why that brother's born of a virgin, a, a special vessel. That's right. For that spirit of Israel to do, that came upon him when he got baptized. Mm -hmm. that, that's that spirit in him. That no man, none of us born of a woman, uh, in, in, in natural. Uh, in a natural birth, mm -hmm. could contain that. Mm -hmm. So the spirit was on Yahshua all the time. Yeah. Until that, until he was placed on that torture stake, mm -hmm. that pole, mm -hmm. was stalled off, mm -hmm. and, and was uh, and, and impaled there on that thing, nailed on that thing, and that spirit, Israel had to leave him because that he was doing, he was unclean. My Elohim, my Elohim. Now, my Elohim come on now, yeah. why are you forsaking me, mm -hmm. brother? Uh, yeah. 
Smiley. Yeah, I see. I, I'm, I'm ready now. Let me, let me, uh, he's gonna say something. I'm just trying to be on my best behavior. No, no, but you let you read. Now, um, one thing that came to mind is a story I, I came across this week, and it, and it might be funny, but it's serious. You all can research it. Um, these dogs kill um, a, 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 a newborn monkey. Mm. Those those monkeys, they still going. They don't kill 250 dogs. I don't know if they were chimpanzee, but they were smart monkeys. They was taking those dogs on the roof and throwing them off the roof because they killed their young. So what, what is it? Where is it? I, you, you read the story. It's, I, I seen it on Instagram, but if okay. you Google it, it'll come okay. with some current. Okay. But it, it comes to mind like if you have that light, you have no business murder or hate your brother. And and, and what comes to mind is First John three. You you all don't have to go down because okay. I know okay. we're short on time. Okay. First John okay. chapter okay. three because now the law is magnified. First John chapter three verse fifteen. Whosoever hated his brother is a murderer. Oh, that's the spirit. Go ahead. I'm listening now. Okay. So yeah, I not, it, it, you don't have to actually do the act. Do the act. No different than the Mashiach. Yeah. Who yes. looks upon a woman. Yeah. So it's been magnified. So that yeah. whoever hated his brother is a murderer. Mm. And you know that no murder have eternal life abided in him. Mm. Now, let's make sure we know the difference between mm. killing and murder. Mm. Murder is premeditated. Yeah. If I'm defending myself, you know, that's, I mean, we. we Cain committed murder. Yeah, yeah, that was murder. You premeditated Yeah, that was murder. Yeah, yeah, yeah that was murder. Yeah, no so basically, I mean, this, to praise y'all for another beautiful piece of Sabbath, it's mm-hmm. like how we deal with each other, man. Like, you you have individuals, if it's either a light or a mirror, mm-hmm. you're like a mirror to them. They see something they don't like about themselves that you show them. They, and, and they try to Ooh. dim your light. Ooh. It's jealousy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, call it out. It's jealousy. Call you you out. you have your beautiful wife, your beautiful children. Oh, I want that. Mm. So instead of doing the things to get that, oh no, I talk bad about that. I hate that. I mean, we know the game. We 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 know people that's in the world. If 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 you can't get that or be like that, oh, I I I I'll, I'll just hate on. But mm. I can deal with that coming in the world. I expect that. But what happens when it's your brother? Then that's not your no, brother. Well, okay. Every brother, every brother is not your brother. Oh, but but it hurts you more when it's your yeah, brother. Yes. Yeah. Because I think right. David yeah. said, I, I can't. I think David said, but it was done to by enemy. Right. But it was one of my own eyes. One of my soul. I could took it. Took it better. But then you got. You, you can expect it. Right. But then you got to look at why do y'all alive? Yeah, you know. You know. Because that sword from without. Yeah. Because yeah. we in our journey. We. I mean. I mean, Yahweh have removed people from our lives that we thought we would have been here to this day. Exactly. You yeah. know, so so it's just. I mean, that's all I had to say. I mean, um, be patient with us on our social media. I mean, we're, we're trying to hit every platform. Be patient, but we we would definitely gonna reap the lost sheep. And we just encourage y'all to to, to share it. This is it, it, we're just trying to share the light. We're giving you the light so you can share the light. Are you talking about the new moon? Like, what's the date for the next new moon that we're gonna to go? It's coming up. I think it's on the third. The third is the third, right? I think it's um, it, I think it's gonna be the. Um, we'll update y'all. We'll update so, you so we got first, we'll coming up. I think it's the first. Yeah. I, first, at eat. Okay. So we got a couple. You know, we got a podcast and uh, yeah. we got a lot yeah. of things coming. Yeah, yeah got a podcast. Okay. Unstructured structure. Just basically, it's not a, a um a setting like this. It's more of you learn from observing us or listening to us. Well, we're talking about everyday life, things you can relate to, things that we can't necessarily talk here because we are on a structured time. It's just kicking back, but that light should never leave you. Mm. So, Crazy. so even the unstructured, the unstructured means it is, it's different vessels. The structure is this right here. We, we stand on this. That's, that's, it. that's it, my brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah just you hit it, you hit yeah. it around the head. Um, we're, we're, we're about a minute, uh, we're in about a minute or so up, uh, oh, before, no. oh. <laughs> wait a minute. Right, you know you need this time, man. Come on. But, but you oh, no, 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 no. So you didn't yeah, ask me that. Oh, didn't, I'm, I'm trying to follow the structure and order. Right, right. right. You, you, you go ahead. You the head of operations, so I need oh, you to tell me. The machine acts over this house. Right. Right. I'm just a keeper of the house. I want to go. You're just a servant. That's right. You're just a servant. I want to. No, no, no. Praise y'all. Yeah, but you know. You're going to throw it out. But if you're. My brother, man. Yeshua. My brother, brother. You know, Yeshua, you know, even amplified it. So who's your brother? Who's your sister? Who's your mother? Well. Those who do the will. Okay. Well, we, we, we're running out of time. Mm-hmm. Okay. But uh, again, I'd like to say Shabbat Shalom, Shalom. Brother Mick, Brother uh, Obadiah, Shalom, Brother Elder, Uriah, 
And uh, to all of you for joining us on this Sabbath, uh, we thank you and uh, just continue to tune us in and hopefully we'll be able to share some things that will be edifying to you and yours. Uh, but until we meet again, y'all willing next Sabbath, uh, y'all will be with you. Shabbat Shalom. And uh, we're just going to be looking forward to uh, see you next time. Praise, so praise y'all for this. Praise y'all. Praise y'all, man. man. You praise did, did. I, I, I love what we talked about. Praise. You know, and we on schedule. Right